Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I have a game that is about ghosts, about the supernatural, and about radio waves. This is actually a pretty brand new game uh, that just recently launched. However, you guys have actually seen part one on the channel already. This is going to be Oxenfree 2, The Lost Signals. Like I said, this is a extremely new game that they just you know released and they actually sponsored me to play this on stream. However, this video is not sponsored, but I do wanna say it is a very good game and I think a very good franchise. So I think you guys will enjoy this one. If you do enjoy the content, please like the video, subscribe, and join us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. Without further ado, this is Oxenfree 2. Please enjoy. Oh, it's you again. Monka? What, what do you want? Rules. You know. Uh oh. Jonas, where did you live? Leave. Jonas? The Jonas brother? Oh, oh, Monka. What the heck? How'd I get here? How? How? Wait, wait. How did I get here? So this is Riley. Am, am I? Is this another? Oh. There's like a canoe here. <laughs> and we're on an island. It is like freaking pouring rain. Okay. Riley? Oh. Riley, are you there? How do I open? Riley, come in, Riley. Q. Riley, please answer, okay? Who is this? Who is this? Where are you? Are you things jump. Uh, I, I, I I don't know. know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hello? Are you Are you still there? Static? What the heck? Where are we? Okay. Seems like we washed ashore. That's really creepy graffiti. <laughs> if you can see that. What is this abandoned place? Oh. Seems to be... Hello? Is anyone in here? I would be surprised if there were. <laughs> All right. Well, no then. Okay, let's make our way up top here. Maybe we can get a good view. See what's going on here. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore. Oh, but wait. What's that? What is this thing? What the? Enter. Guess we're going in. Nineteen fifty two. Excuse me, who who are you? Bury me. What? Where you can't see. Oh! What the heck? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm here. Hi. Hey. Hey, hi. That was Thank a dream? God. I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. 8 p.m. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. I can hear yeah, you fine. I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. Mm -hmm. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Sounds creepy. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun. So this is Kamina. In the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. Monka. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. We got our radio too. Over. Sounds sort of spooky. Weird frequencies blocking airplane chatter that no one can explain. 
And maybe I'm misunderstanding, but this is kind of spooky, right? No, you're dead on. This is super spooky. Yeah, so Let's send me out there to find out, huh? <laughs> Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. General Should store. Right in the center of the harbor. Oh, right here. Go get right? them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. Wow. You'll be using it to get in contact <laughs> with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, oh, it's a crab shack. Basics of how to use it? Uh, I know how uh, to use no, it. No, that's all right. I think I got the hang of it. Over. All right, great. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Seems like we have a... Oh, we have like nine slots for different frequencies on our walkie-talkie. Uh, how do you open the map again? Oh, I guess we don't have a map yet. But our goal right now, go to the general store and find out what's happening here. Wait, where is the general store again? I'm so lost. Is it this? No. Is it this? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, it should be this way then. Copper Creek Trail? That doesn't sound right. Can't lie. How do I open the map? Oh no, I'm lost. I'm lost. She said center of the harbor, right? We're, we're at the harbor. I'll, I just see like a crab shack. Okay, maybe, maybe it's up here. Let's keep going. Oh, maybe it's this? No. Ticket booth. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're smart. We're smart. We got this. It's locked. Huh. Doesn't look like anyone's here. I uh, should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is Map there like another updated? general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is... Our partner, trouble, Jacob Summers. He's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm I'm sorry, but partner? If I, I was not was told about this. I, uh, I might have remembered to put on deodorant. <laughs> what the? Fine. He's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You That's a know good idea. Happen. People slip or get bit by snakes or... Abducted sorry, into Riley, alternate uh, dimensions, yeah. Huh? What does that mean? What can't be right? Hey, uh, Evelyn, is everything all right? She's not answering. Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Nope. Pull it out for a second. Okay. The topographical one, I mean. Uh -huh. from sea level listed? Yep, 3,000 feet. Oh, Over. Oh, tab, okay. <laughs> a lot of land to cover i see i see inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. all those rocks and dude you told me to pull it out without rope and anchor. <laughs> but jacob's still at copper creek trail northwest of where you're at right now take the road and you'll get there pretty quick uh-huh what am i supposed to do zoom oh this also, is cool by the way, your map has a lot of useful information don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost. Yes, or got it. You're doing. Whip out the map. Okay, whip out I'll the map. Okay, later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Over and out. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Soul body health Luna class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. <laughs> Sounds huh. fun. And I think Close. there's no one in there. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? <laughs> Unlucky. Is there anything out here you think? Or you think this leads somewhere else? Okay, let's figure out where we are on the map here. So we're on Uptown Harbor. We're supposed to meet up with Jacob at Copper Creek Trail. So yeah, looks like we just take a left and we should be good. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, this place is huge though. Also, this map is actually very detailed. I like the way it works. This is looking promising. Very, very promising. All right, let's meet up with Jacob, even though we have no deodorant. Unlucky. I wonder if we can sprint yet. 
Okay, Copper Creek Trail. Head this way. And I think it's telling us to go upwards, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, this part of town looks beat up. This looks run down. My gosh. Okay, Copper Creek Trail. And our buddy Jacob should be here. Oh, yep. Yeah. I believe right... Oh, oh. Wait, how do I get there? I'm supposed to take this? Oh, shoot. I think I might have gone the wrong way. Oh, we need to take that trail, right? Is there... Did I miss a path? Oh, there he is. Hello. Having some car trouble? Yeah. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> you're Riley, right? Don't come near me. I need deodorant. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I, I can't get my truck to start. Unlucky. Do we need oh. it? Uh, do we need it? I, I think they hired me mostly because I had a truck. <laughs> <laughs> so... Unlucky. Maybe? Let's, uh, let's try something, though. The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? Yeah. Sure. I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure. What the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Have you tried turning it on and Some off of again? the electronics have been blinking when it was... Oh. Oh, crap. I think your car oh, okay. is busted. Turn it off. Back. Well, thanks. You're welcome. I won't even try to explain what happened. Uh, sorry, Oof. dude. <laughs> sorry, dude. That sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you helped me out. Indeed, I did. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob. Oh, oh, oh. Did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Hello. Oh, I think that's our uh, boss's. Hey, Evelyn. Check. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's Jake. A regularly, but. We were lucky to get us help with this. Your truck ready? <laughs> um, you guys good to go? Give us a, um, give us a second. Uh, give us a second. <laughs> more than a second, to be honest. My oh truck's my gosh. behaving. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, Unlucky. Kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all terrain vehicle. Oh, well, can't we fix the truck? Call a tow company or something? Uh, we we kind of have to get started. Oh. Our permits are only good for the next two days. Guess we're walking there. We're going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? Yeah, I got it. Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. <laughs> what the? Then why even say that? Oh, this is the transmitter? This thing is freaking huge. Oh, whoa. Jeez. That's crazy. One tonight and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. That's crazy. All right. Hey guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Mm, nope. I don't think I have any questions, no. All right, guys. Good luck. Thanks. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Okay. Over and out. Over and out. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Yep. Uh, can you grab it? Yeah. Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Is it for work? They keep mentioning radio waves. It's kind of for work, yeah. Kind of? What does that mean? Oh. Oh. <gasps> the radio, remember? Oh, thanks. Hey, try it out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. 93.7. Yeah, it, it should be on. Kamina Crayfish! That's my team! Represent! I used to watch Crayfish games with my older brother. Kamina like Crayfish! Ago. But uh, thanks. Hell yeah. yeah! It sounds great. Stan the Crayfish. Anyways. Okay, my foot, Camber Cape, is up this way. Oh boy, so we're walking. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, Jacob seems like a nice fellow. So, uh, Evelyn, she's she's a little funny, right? <laughs> funny. <laughs> she ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. Around that them? That particular breed uh -huh. of small town? Something. I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. 
And not, not that it's a bad thing. Hmm. That kind of hey, killed the combo. This is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I, well, do, do you remember junior year? Junior this year. Osmore's English class and uh, oh? PE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, Patty. <laughs> Peanut butter Patty. What the? We ran in different circles, but I just wanted Peanut you to know butter that Patty knew, knew each other. That's all. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Good, good to see you. <laughs> she does yeah, not remember. <laughs> so, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm nice what you to call meet you an too. Independent contractor. You know. Light fixtures, building decks. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's it's why I brought the radio, actually. Hmm. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. What does that mean? Super strange stuff? I, like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Huh. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. Uh, I haven't I'm heard that before. Readings from the island. Audiovisual phenomena? Like, uh, what? Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It didn't make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or whatever. The effects, though, that radio effects has kind of bled from the island to... Bled from the island. But I, I'm sorry. I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techie. Sounds dangerous. Okay, wait. So we're supposed to be going up here, right? Place the first transmitter at Cape or Cape, so... I think this is the right way. Let's keep going here. But I've been talking my head off ever since we got. No worries, just keep uh, walking. Uh, uh, so uh, be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. But you seem okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ever slip? Sounds like there's a an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I once, twice, but ne never seriously hurt. What? This. Oh, Monka. Oh, that? We have some off color people living this far out from proper civilization. What does that There's mean? There's a group in town that performs uh, nature rituals. Nature You'll see evidence rituals. Of this could be them. Nature rituals. What the heck does that mean? Oof, uh, this part's always a little tricky. Come on, buddy. You're slowing me down here. Damn, that is, uh... That does not sound great. Mysterious radio signals that are interfering with communications. Oh, wait, wait, Cults wait, wait, wait. of nature. Over here. You, you want to sit on the bench? <laughs> Can we just take a quick second? Yeah, sure, man. Hey, why'd you, why'd you come over I here? To rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. Okay. I could use the break too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> well, might as well listen in. Turned out to be a really nice night. Yeah, man. My uh, dad and I walked these woods before. The mud bugs. <laughs> what are these I was names? Five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the uh, the park, and I saw something. Off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip. She saw something. Fall a little. <laughs> my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. Oh. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. Monka. Yeah, these woods will kill you if you let them. That sounds reassuring. Yeah, I mean, you, you trip, you fall, you get a tick in your boot, a rattlesnake in your hat. The existential dangers start to add up. Yeah, that and other stuff. Oh, and other stuff. Right. Thanks for the stop. Help me catch my breath. Well, let's keep going. 100 flights of stairs. Let's go. Combos are getting kind of weird. I think they're just giving us more of their backstories, which I'm not opposed to. It's always good to know more about the characters you're right, playing. We're getting close. That took an hour? Crust, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. 
over the crest. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Hmm. Closed. Locked. <laughs> and locked. Damn it. Unlucky. The hell do I do? Climb huh? over it. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Or we climb this up here. You see this? All we need to do is just climb a couple hundred feet and we're there. Or we could call Evelyn, I suppose. Sorry, this turned into a bit of a headache. Uh, no, no problem. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed. Or locked. The way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not <laughs> a deal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. Oh, hey, yo. The bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> we gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh... Get creative. Get creative. Oh boy. Well, I suppose it's time to get creative. <laughs> oh well, that works too. What it the? Is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Coming with? Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Wait, you see this? What is? Uh, f figuratively. Oh come on, it's fun. Good challenge, you know. I'll happily take your word for it. <laughs> It looks so creepy. Top side. Oh, this could go really, really bad. <laughs> well, looks like we made it. Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hello. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Fiddle with Sounds the dish. Good. Over. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Wait, so am I supposed to open this for him or am I supposed to place it? Oh, hey, you made it. Hey. Good job. You doubted me. Oh, there Not we go. Nice. All right, onwards. Another hundred flights of stairs. You grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? It was a, uh, you know, a uh, casualty of war, right? The USS Kanaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. Expert but, uh, on this, huh? Know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire. That we accidentally bombed our own sub. Mm hmm uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the mm. story not hitting exactly right. Sounds creepy. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. That's cute. Uh, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. Oh, yikes. But, uh, any interest in the other, other story about the submarine? Hmm. Other, other? There's another story on top of us bombing our own soldiers? Do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kanaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. So Jacob thinks that the ghosts are there. I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. I don't mean to give you goosebumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird hmm. place. You go there and it's he's actually really touch the ground. not that far off. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster, and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. Ghosts. So, hey, you tell me a down submarine does he know? haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. What does he mean? But he hey, proposed no this, ghosts, right? No ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out. Jesus. <laughs> oh, 
I can barely feel my feet. All right, let's keep going. Wimp. <laughs> but I guess I'm not used to night hikes. It's a little weather worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin operated binocular things up here. But someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes. Really lost it. Oh, whoa. See Ooh. that? Over Edwards Island. Ooh, that's Edwards Island. Nice. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. Storm. I'm gonna do this quick. Storm. Raining. Island. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so. The transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. This one? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. Monka. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good good idea. All right, Evelyn. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Nice. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, oh. Hold it's up. blinking One red. Second. Uh, guys, tell me, what color is the little light blinking? Uh. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? What the? Uh, did you know? Is this is this right? Riley, uh, what's going on? The readings are a little weird. Should we turn right this thing here. down? Uh, uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting. Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. It's what? Just turn what's it off. Say? Turn it off. it is it lightning what oh wait there's there's someone here who are who you is she she did something she whatever she did fried our entire i did nothing on, bro you tell me all the time don't let the concerns of others concern you right what what mom come in riley if you're there pick up please riley what hey hi thank god i didn't know if you'd be in range i'm evelyn a new researcher with the lab like you this is the start of my fourth week actually i'm by oval beach it's about 20 miles out but i can hear you hey yo surprisingly can you hear me over uh yeah i, I can I, I can hear you <laughs> as long as it's something well welcome to kamina or the northern tip anyway you're going to be uh, placing transmitters. That's uh, that's the the job. What? In your backpack, the... you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover, but I... the general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed. Oh shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would oh. help me out a ton if they can just let you grab. Oh. Ah, uh, damn it. This hey, you, hey, what the hell do you, you think you're keep doing? Away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Just who are you? What are you Ooh. doing? Just leave it alone. What? Don't, don't listen to them. Don't do Don't anything. listen to them. Stay back. Wait. Hey, wait. Where's she going? Come in, Riley. If you're oh there, my pick gosh. up please. Oh my god. Riley. Gosh. Answer, please. Over. Not again. Evelyn. Hey, hi. Thank God. I didn't know if you'd be in range. I wanted to tell you that. Actually. Man, have you ever gotten deja vu? I am getting a serious case of it. I think we're. I think we might be stuck in a, a loop or something. We've done this before. I... Riley? Uh, are you still there? You're getting better. Riley? Hello? Evelyn? Come on, oh, boys. Come out to play. What the? As shine, as bright as day. Come with a hoop. Come with a clue. Come this is so creepy. Hello? It still broke? Oh. oh! It broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. 
got overworked. I'll have to to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow. Or... Well, ruined. Oh, it's her again. She keeps trying to. <laughs> I'm not doing anything, bro. Oh my gosh, is this still on fire? Wait, there's a thing here now. Oh my gosh, this freaking store, bro. What is this machine? This definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. Okay. Oh, hello. What? What? Huh? I'm so confused. Oh, X. Ah. Uh. Oh, go. Oh. Whoa. Geometry. Yeah. Okay, now what though? Does my map still work? It does. Heck, why is the general store on fire? Shouldn't we call someone about this? Oh, there's another one. Here we go. Oh, that's different. What is the goal? Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Almost. Nice. Shapes. What Wait, just happened? What happened? I feel like whatever that was <coughs> because of that machine or I don't know. God, I hope Jacob's okay. Maybe he went back to his truck. Oh boy. And who are these cultists, bro, okay. on this island? The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease. Yeah. With their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. Um, hello? Is anyone there? Evelyn? Echo? Echo? Whatever. Echo? Piece of... Oh, wait. It's... God damn it, it's cracked. We oh, broke right. the walkie-talkie? I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll, well, she better know what the hell is going on. Oh boy, uh, this is not looking too good for us. <laughs> but seriously, oh my gosh, what is going on? Very mysterious. Okay, let's see if Jacob is still here. Is the man back at his car? And is the car working? That is the real question. Let's see. Oh, Jacob. 10 p.m. So time did pass. It's not a loop. Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. I don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, oh hey, Jesus. Good Lord, that I'm sorry. You scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. What are you doing in there? Oh my God, R Riley, this is. I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? Y yeah. I, I was we were planning the transmitter there was a oh, wait there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, he remembers right? did that yeah that 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 happened he that, remembers oh man are you okay i you i get alive i, I think i'm okay think i'm okay <laughs> yeah. oh hey guys are you there yeah yeah, yeah. oh it's it's evelyn oh man thank god it's <laughs> tell her evelyn. i quit man <laughs> hey evelyn we're, we're here did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit. But we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't... We don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys. I don't... I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, oh. I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. Hmm. You need to go back to Camber Cave and see what the transmitter is. You want me to go right back now. there? You're uh, out of no, your really. mind. Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing oh while we still have time. Time? Do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Oh my. Uh, this, you, you don't really know what you're asking us to do here. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, 
let's just do it fast, oh Riley. Oh my gosh. Right. Yeah, but we need assurances. <laughs> yeah, we're getting paid for this, right? In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses. And a new truck, uh, and a new truck. Please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Oh my Thank gosh, you okay. So, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. But here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. Yep. Got a spare? Oh, thanks. Walkie-talkie. This should work. Nice. Uh, thanks. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do. It, it does indeed. I don't know what's going on, but but it seems extremely bad. Is all I can muster right now. <laughs> really you the don't only say. Ones out here that knows anything about it. So, I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter, and this feels like it matters, right? Well, maybe that's true. Maybe it's not, but. I know we can figure it out. Only one I mean, way to find you, out. I don't know, but I know I can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I believe you. Thanks. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, they're telling us to risk life and limb out here while 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 they do what? This is blasphemous. Come on now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Violet, you there? That's their transmitter knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We we need to repair it. I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking. Hmm. Charlie, come in. Violet, where are you? Let's just listen in for a second. Guys, I, I think I'm lost. I'm at Charlie Violet. Place. I think she's by the cave system. Violet, what happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm. I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointilia. That's not far from here. Oh. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Hearth and Cinder. Catch squirrels if <coughs> you over and out. Catch squirrels? That doesn't sound good. They sound young. You have any idea who they could be? Monka. Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Well, I think the green girl voice is the one who set the general store on fire. <laughs> But what is happening and why are they out here? Great questions that I hope we can answer. All right, we got to make it to the transmitter first, though. Let's go. Let's go. Sheesh, 1260 raised. Let's go. Every follow is a dollar and every sub is three dollars for the Child's Play nonprofit organization. Keep that in mind. Going on this stream. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. Okay, let's keep going here. Okay, the gate is unlocked. Let's, let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. I agree with that. Let's go. Oh, ominous music playing. Come on! Right yeah, behind right you. Right behind you. Let's go. I wish I could sprint faster. You have longer legs, though, Jacob. Oh, I'm gaining on you. I'm gaining on you. Okay. Seems okay for now. But what's going on? Oh. Hear that? Oh, man. What the heck? <laughs> Crap, okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? I, I don't a know, giant man. thing in the sky. Jacob, I have zero guesses as to what that horrifying thing floating in the sky is. I'm just glad it's over there. Yeah, I wouldn't take too much uh, comfort in that, Riley. Whatever it is, and whatever the transmitter's doing with it, definitely affected us over here. Okay, well, Riley, let's this just turn this off. I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She... no one really believed her, but she knew. Even 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Jacob, do you know something that I don't, or...? Wait, Riley, do you... do you hear that? Turn it off! There's... Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? No, I don't. It sounds like... It, it sounds like... He's nuts. Sounds like what, bro? Kids. Oh, sh... Huh? 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 Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Jacob. Jacob. Where are you going, my brother? What are you doing? Holy... What, what is this? You good, bro? 
Let's tune him out of it. We know what to do here. Jacob! Jacob! Oh, God. Just, just hold on. I can't tune him out anymore? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's big. It's a big one. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, you good, bro? That was kind of a... Remember your name and address and telephone number. number two. And if someday you lose your way, you know just what to do. Right? Yeah. What is going... Marco? Polo? Uh... Oh. oh! Hey, you hear what I said? Miss? Bar's closing. You gotta go home. Hey! Anyone know her? What? Anyone friends What's with this woman? That... Anyone? No? How did I get... How did I get here? This... How'd you get here? How are you getting home? That's the... That's what we're... Hey! Wait, buddy! You were talking to her earlier. Oh. Oh. Down and out. Uh oh. Holy. Yo, 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 yo. Run, bro. What are you doing? Run. Spilling everything everywhere. What? Are you? Is is this? We are oh. lost. We are lost. And we'll pay. What is your? Please don't. To be found oh. again. What? What? Oh, hey. Um. On a cliff. Hello. Good morning. Jacob, man, I am happy you're alive. It was kind of touch and go there for I, a minute. Are, are we in what? In got got what? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Yeah, what is going on? Riley, I think I might know what's going on. Oh, you do? But first, let's get the hell out of here. I would love to hear what's going on. You think we could contact Evelyn? Hey, uh, Evelyn, I'm in Garland. Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, this is Evelyn. I'm at work. Who's this? Uh, this is Riley. I, I've been talking to you all night. Wait, Over. she doesn't remember? Yeah, sorry, I don't know Riley. Riley. And don't call Maritime Emergency Dispatch unless you have a real emergency. Over and out. Huh? She don't know us? She said, she, oh, I don't know you like that, little bro. Well, I won't what be able heck? to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. Okay, Jacob, you got you gotta say something, bro. You gotta say something now. <laughs> so she just doesn't remember us now. Evelyn, you there? Over. Eleven p.m. Oh, I don't think we can get through. She doesn't even know you, bro. Yeah. She don't know you like that, I, I little think bro. I know what might be going on. Okay. It's going to take some explaining. Please explain. My cottage is just up the way. He has a cottage here. Something that could help. It's not very far. Jacob, what do you know? What is going on? I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young, and I'm not just randomly into radio technology. He's so sus. He's the imposter. Reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards. Maggie Island. Adler. Grocery, studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. I think it can help. I know it can. Um, what theories? What what did she think about? I'm sorry, I, I'm confused. She had ideas about these weird frequencies before any of it ever happened? Uh, sort of. Well, I mean, it kind of has always been happening. It just, let's just see if her work helps first. Oh my god. And then, uh, I, I can give you the footnotes, you know? It's not far. <coughs> This dude is gatekeeping information from us right now. Do you hear this? He is gatekeeping us from knowing exactly what is happening. Yeah, Unacceptable. Just this way. Not that it's going to wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Oh, yeah, nice. Just, just so you don't think, it's not like this is my beach house or anything. 
My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. So you share it with your brother? Yeah, technically, but he's uh, never really around. Oh, I saw some stat. Oh, and the money left me. Actually, I think it's just the grass. <laughs> I have to work, but it's not like a huge deal. Oh, oh, that's a. I uh. <laughs> I used to. Big cabin. <laughs> I'm compelled. It's a giant cabin. <laughs> what the? I'm a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Uh, are you a duke of something or something? <laughs> Th this is a castle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real palatial. Warm in the summer, cold in the winter. It creaks, it leaks, and termites can't get enough of it. Don't tell uh, the cover works both ways. Trust me. Okay. All the stuff that we need is inside. Should just take a minute. I know exactly where it is. Okay. And oh, you don't have the key. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Do we need to review doors again? <laughs> no, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're, oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. Hey, it happens. <laughs> I watched a video on how to pick locks. Oh my God, I I you're not thinking of that. color? Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push oh comes, I'll just unscrew Oh my the God, this guy. Okay, what if we try the front door here? It's gotta be another way in your house, bro. Oh, that window's open. Did that? No. Okay. Why am I not surprised? Give it up, bro. Hey, that window. I need to get up there. Hmm. This tree? Or... Oh, we could go from the side to the rooftop, maybe? maybe? No. Give it up, bro. You're not getting this. It's fine. Okay, what about the garage? Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Of course, Sorry. we cannot. <laughs> Okay, ladder and then side door. Oh, hey, no way! Uh oh. Uh, oh, that's the. Wow. Uh, there's a broom here. Nice. Damn it. And garage door opener. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Rats. And why don't we take our backpack off, man? <laughs> okay, well. Nope. This should reach the window. Let's grab it. Oh, yep. Careful now. Let's go. Let's go. Use a little bit of help here. But you know what? Really? It's okay. Why is your window open anyway? All right, here we go. This is going to take a while. Yeah, bro, we know. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. And an eighth grade science textbook. <laughs> Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Very interesting. So this is his bedroom? Pizza? Where's the phone? So much pizza. Oh, whoa. That is, uh... Of course. Hey, you there? Come let me in. Yeah, bro. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. How'd you get in? Shouldn't you close your door? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again. God. <laughs> I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. It is what it is. All right. Get what you uh, have to get. The journal should be just over here. Nice. And I know there was one where she talked about gates. Gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just uh, hang, hang on. You got a phone call as I was heading down here. I didn't answer. Huh. Kind of late to get a call, but okay. Oh, it's been at least an allergy season since I cleared out my answering machine. So that one's lost to the ages. So he's not even curious. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Mm hmm. Oh, this is it. Oh. One of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake. The, the, the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. Blew up? It split the crew in from Submarine imploded? In between time. In between dimensional planes. Hmm. They were gone. But 
Not really. Is Sus. Uh, that why this is happening? Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, I mean, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one hmm. really except me believed her. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is true. Let's get out How of this situation. This? Just look. This one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about. A woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think Anna. that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. <coughs> I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? Okay, okay. Uh, Let's so close how it. how do we close it or stop it or whatever? She, she talked about it somewhere in one of these notebooks. Oh, perfect. Let's just a, uh, a portal or close and read all the notebooks. Yeah. To a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was Ghosts. on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, uh, of campfire stories, I guess. All right. So all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? 60 years ago. Why is this happening now? All 80 years ago. That portal over on Edwards Island. Whoever did that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But just wait, there's more here. What more could we there be? Need is this guy. What the heck is that? Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes. Hmm. Huh. What did she huh. write? Jacob, not in your head. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's. Uh, she she says that. Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See. See, so that's this. This is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. The, that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks, at least. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did, which is definitely what we want to do, because. You know, Maggie says she wrote here that that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence, which doesn't sound good. What does that so, mean? So, uh, what will happen exactly if the portal or whatever stays open? It sounds like it'll really screw up our timeline. Maybe destroy it. That doesn't sound great. The general store is holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner. And I know where the key is. He knows so where the no key problem. is. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right oh harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that... It should work. And then the big portal and all the scary stuff that poured out of it will go away? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's what I think Maggie Adler's trying to tell us. Okay. Sounds yeah. suspicious. Yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. All right, brother. I just hope we're right. Uh, Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Hello? Oh, it's Evelyn. We should loop her in. Hey, Evelyn, do you, uh, see or, like, know how insane this is getting? Over? Riley! Riley, thank God! You didn't know me, like, five minutes ago! Everything's okay, okay. What do you mean, thank God? The readings for getting on our end here look really bad. Yeah, hell yeah, they do. No, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? <laughs> figured it out how over some old lady's journals jacob had lying around what could just just don't worry we know what to do the transmitters will act as a net it would be like the old radio towers the this is like a guess like basically all we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up hmm. uh, actually this that might work how do you ah, know the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Oh, oh hey, wow. <laughs> and I was going to suggest just throwing a brick through the window. <laughs> but this is better. 
Great. Thank let's God go. for small towns. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. What could she possibly be getting ready oh, over there? Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Athena? Not, uh, not Who's that? You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Aww. Dogs handle anything, you know? Oh, it's dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. Interesting. Sorry, I... Uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out left. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Sus. Something spooked her, but... I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Good to know. I will keep an eye out. Oh, boy. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Across, not over. That's an important distinction. All right, back to the general store. Back to the... Oh, shoot. Could we have gone to the right, actually? I feel like we're making a big loop here. Okay, no, the general store is definitely on the way. Gotta go all the way back. Oh, ow, ooh, sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> all good, bro. All good. <laughs> he does not sound like he's in a great mood or shape. Let's keep going here, though. And back down. This is where his truck was. Okay, let's just hope that no creepy cultist is trying to set fire to the journal store right now. Because that's kind of where our stuff is, and we kind of need that stuff too. So, let's see. Time loops, nature cults, electromagnetic when frequencies. Oh my you should gosh. come back here. And why is that? Like this area. Best sunset view in town. I see. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. <laughs> noted. So noted. And I intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff. <laughs> 500 pennies, you have my word. 500 pennies. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers, he never moved the key. Right. Any dang way, as I was blathering about. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Nice. Did you know that? Something about the, uh, the dust in the atmosphere? It's a no. Blue Martian sunset. <laughs> Saw it on a nature show. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does have a Okay, general place. store is not on fire. That is I'm a good step. Jealous, you know? I mean, Alright, get totally the key. With, get the key. Uh, earthly and sunsets. No complaints. But I, I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. Are you gonna How get the key or not? We'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me. But maybe it ain't. Envy no more, my man. We're going to Mars. You, me, Athena, pack some snacks. Ha! You can pick the tunes. Get the key. Get the key. We're here. Get the key. Are we not getting the key, bro? Wait, are we going up here? Just uh, oh. follow me. I, see. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? He should be right under the map. Real high tech security, you know. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm stealing gum. It's happening. <laughs> Hell yes, and grab me a pack. Oh, screw it, grab me too. Eh, Are we in? Besides the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. What is happening in here? Should we leave like a note or something? And what would this note say? Universe possibly collapsing? Had to technically rob you? Hugs and kisses? Jake and Rye? Rye? Whoa, whoa! Who let him? There's the gear. Let's go. Who, 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 who gave him permission? We ain't like that. Oh, backpack. Nice. Uh, mind if I take a look at the gear? Knock yourself out. I don't even know where he is. Oh. A few more transmitters, and that looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, <coughs> yeah. Sounds I'm great. Really looking forward to that part. Let's do this. Try not to think about it, though. Ugh. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Yeah. Easy for some Easy. People. Super easy. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Above Take a look sea at your level. Map and let's pick where we want to go. Alright, uh looks like we have a couple places. So this is our first transmitter, right? It just has to be above three thousand feet. So for sure, one of them's gonna have to be Charity Point, and then the other one's gonna have to be like 
here? Church of the Grand Architect? Garland Ghost Town. That does not sound great. I'm going to be honest. And they're all really, really far away. Oh. Okay, well, let's do this. Might as well go left first. All right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Oh boy, how do we get there? So we're gonna go up here. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Oh man, we're really betting the entire lives of everyone in humanity on Maggie Adler's journals. I, wow, that's something, man. That's something. Oh, that's where the path takes us. I was wondering. Hey, <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Massel, oh. are you there? Over. Olivia oh, Massel. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel. Who's that? I she sounded familiar. Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is they're a cult. The Massels. A cult. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's mm. not parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories about people disappearing. Yeah, I saw their flyer at the store. You mm. think this is a cult thing? Seriously? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. That sounds great. That sounds real fun. I can't wait to run into cultists and whatnot. Anyways, how did, wait, how do we get up here? How do we... I'm not seeing a path that will connect here. Uh, it seems like it's on a completely separate area. Are we supposed to go here? Oh my gosh, I think we messed up. I think we we're supposed to go down. Oopsies. Yeah, because it's like three separate peaks, so this does not connect at all. Uh, and then we need to get... Oh wait, but they did say we don't have to take the regular path, right? Okay, you know what? We've we've already made it up here. We might as well come, right? Might as well take a look at what's going on. Let's see. Trailhead, trailhead. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure this is the right way. I think we're just gonna have to go down. Oh wait, there is a path here. You think that could connect into the forest? Okay, you know what? I'll take a look. Hello. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. It's not looking Over. great. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This oh, stuff, what's this? The, the portal above Edwards Island is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Oh, thanks. Our weather station and relay measurements are... Well, the numbers are... Otherworldly, way off track from where they should be. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Jim? A uh, co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. <laughs> it's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Just to get a reading straight. That sound all right? Y yeah, 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 that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. Oh boy. What is this? Mel. Oh, my... No way. I buried this. Oh. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these. Mel, my, my mother, mother was, was an, an undertaker. undertaker. That's one way to start a letter, Maggie. I grew up in a graveyard. They say a cemetery is no place for a child, but for me, it's a place of happy memories. 
Somewhere I go on gray days, sometimes wandering beside the headstones, I swear I can still smell my mother's perfume. Funny that we should run into each other there. You don't meet many fellow amateur radio enthusiasts in the wild, let alone one conducting experiments. I must say the amplifier you were working on, you were working with, has thoroughly piqued my interest and homemade no less. I've always theorized that increased amplification of, well, any signal really could uncover all sorts of wonders and terrors and all those beautiful and awful things we dream about at night, for better or worse. I'm hoping perhaps we could work together to see if these theories are true. Also, I would love to hear who Tom was, if you're so inclined. Maggie. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyways, I think this is not the right way. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're gonna have to go and turn around here, but... Hmm. Seems like we're uncovering more and more of the truth. Okay, let's head all the way back down. Gosh dang it. And I'm assuming it's just going to be awkward silence until we reach the bottom here. When they, uh, oh, when they I lied. For this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? <laughs> and they said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. Why? <laughs> and now she's moved back. Okay. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, oh, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back to Kamina. I mean, I uh, guess I just needed a reset. Oh. I didn't have a permanent address, and drifting like that can feel great for a bit, like I'm beating some system, but I didn't really have anything to show for it but a foggy memory and a lot of bad habits. Mm. It was that flashback that we got earlier. Hey, you know, I rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's, the, how's he doing? He's uh, still an electrician. It's been a minute since I've seen him in town. Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. Mm. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. I see. I like how the conversations continue as you move across different places, though. Look, you, you uh, good. came back for a reset, and I, I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. Could get worse. <laughs> tomorrow will be like. Hey, you're right. Maybe it'll get even worse. <laughs> yeah. Cross your fingers. Oh, rope. Okay. And I guess we just jump down this rope. Nice. Ooh, sliding. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. You're fine. You oh, fell from God. her there. You fell from higher. Oh, God of God. Just try not to think about gravity. You know, that unavoidable thing that kills mountain climbers all the time. Oh, very That's encouraging. <laughs> oh, man. All right, looks like this is the right way, though, so we should be good. Let's keep moving up here. Sheesh, 1,500. Yo, we making it. Oh. Wow, there's a weird-looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. And you just if know this we because? Had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Hmm. Ugh. Why is there always some kind of problem? Come on, we, we should go. We still have other transmitters and other locations we can plant in the meantime. Wait. Yeah. Okay. This won't tune in? Man, total strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Guess not. Truck, lost dog. So we came here for uh, nothing. Situation. For nothing. However you classify it. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at the Oh night. my god, it's so negative. There's always room for more. <laughs> and hey, there's strike four. Last night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was Oh, this is slow. It turned out it was me. And like, not a mirror, it was another... Less mirror. talking, more climbing. Only Come on, bro. He didn't have a face. And, and then I reached up to see if I did, but Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Sounds fun. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it just came to me right now. Just pops out of nowhere. Super creepy. Yeah, it stuck with me for most of the morning. Very creepy indeed. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. 
All right, so it looks like this is a no-go. We can't get up to the Church of Altitude something, something. So I think we're probably going to have to end up going to Charity Point instead. So these two, Toga, to, 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 to Tega Falls and Charity Point. How do we make it over there? How do we make it over there? Looking like, okay, this is Jacob's place, right? So if we climb this, or wait, okay, yeah, so we're gonna just need to go up towards Jacob's place, climb the rocks, and then we're gonna make it up here somehow? This is confusing, we'll find out. Hey, I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this uh, thing I've been working on for like, for like years. Thing, huh? Clay sculpture. I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but um, assuming I didn't, and assuming <laughs> you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? Oh, wouldn't you like to know, That's weather boy? Like, I realize. But uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? Uh, sorry, can't say I noticed it. Oh, w well, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't really go into someone's house and expect, you know, sculpted clay. <laughs> Sorry, well, bro. Don't I nightmarish doubts that they show in advanced mortician classes? Maybe I can show you the work in progress. Love to and see maybe it. Maybe you can pretend to like it. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to admit that that would be perfectly fine with me. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> All right. All right. Keep it moving here. Keep it moving. Back to Jacob's house. I see the rock path we need to climb. This is good. This is good. So, embarrassing confession. Yes. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book. I was a month late in returning mm -hmm. I'm talking 30 proper days and i never even finished it <laughs> athena and i walk there all the time so i figured two birds you know not a good book yeah it was mindless brain candy brain candy fun but no real uh vitamins and i love minerals, candy you know yeah, but really i could have waited another 30 because kamina pl got rid of late fees last september i mean is it weird that i don't mind paying late fees yeah, that's a little bit weird. I don't know who enjoys paying for something that they don't have to, but nice. I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has 12 to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. <laughs> so we're old, huh? I am old, yes. I can see. I'm old. We are old. You are old. They should still bring back late fees. Why? <laughs> anyway. Ah. Bit of a leap there. Oh, you're oh, fine, bro. Fine. Oh, whoa! whoa. Riley, oh, shoot! Riley! Jesus! Are you okay? Please say something! Riley! I'm dead. Uh, or maybe I just wish what I was What just dead. happened? <laughs> give, me, give me a second. She flew like Superman! <laughs> ah, so taking the easy way down, I see. What the heck? Uh, I think we can safely say that it's uh, just the way at this point. Oh, my God! <laughs> Hey, you doing all right? You look okay. That's a good sign. Whoever invented gravity's an asshole. Isaac Newton really oh should have been a gosh. farmer. So we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. Oh, the caves. We follow this one through. Should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but she's the best we got. Uh, unless this is a bear cave. In which case, we probably won't wind up somewhere on the other side. Not unless you mean the other side in some sort of religious sense. Oh, Monka. No, I don't think there are bears out here, but well, of course now you've got me wondering. <laughs> oh my Anyways, gosh. Come on. Just this way, I think. He thinks. All right. Uh, we are here. Fell embarrassed. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Hey, why not go up and try again? I think we can reach it this time. Just get better grip and we're good. Oh, oh, oh. Funny how just a little light makes everything both less and more spooky. Weird, right? Maybe it's just me. Did it go out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do I funny. get down here? You're a funny person. You're hilarious. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on now. Don't be a wuss. Let's go. More cult markings. Lovely. Do you see something here? Or was that just me? Sus. Oh, oh, oh. It do be kind of foggy. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Great question. Foghorn? Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley. Huh? Are you there? Yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Oh. Uh, Man, you sound... Uh, who's that? Actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. 
but uh, how's it going? Yeah, I'm fine. Who's this? Over. Um, you know who this is. But what? I'll give you the space to figure it out for yourself. Okay. What does that I mean? Don't waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight and the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. What does that mean? Oh. Hello? Anyone there? Over. Who's this? Yes. Who am I speaking with? Over. You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Uh, now, can you tell me why you're on this frequency? Over. I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Wait, what was that fog? Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? Hey, you sound pretty clear, which means you're probably in Kamina, right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point. Oh. There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. <coughs> can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in there? It's the outpost for local fishermen. I want to make sure it's still there. That is so the weird. Backpack. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll help out. A blue backpack? Yeah, awesome. Great. That'd Wait. be a big help. That sounds give me a ring if you see it. very suspicious. Who is this? And who is the person that called? Okay. Only one way to find out what is going on here. I guess somebody sleeps here. Sometimes. Yeah, fishing expeditions can sometimes take a while, I think. Actually, I don't really know. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Radio. Oh, we're just going to use it? Yeah, it sounds great. Well, I don't know what else I expected. Oh, oh the backpack. Uh, that guy's backpack. Maybe you should call him back. Let him know we found it. Y they didn't Why do people lock the door or anything? Things and putting them on walls for other people to see what they've killed. Great question. Looks cool, probably. That'd be my guess. Okay. Hey, uh, Nick? Yeah, your, your backpack's here. It's blue, right? Over. Oh, okay. Good. I thought maybe I did bring it, but that the stupid thing fell overboard. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now, but I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but I'm all over Kamina. So if you need any info about the area oh. or Edwards Island, I've been all up and down the coastline. Just give me a holler. Anytime. I'll be up all night. Sure, I just might. Over. A new okay. contact. Thanks for the help again. Over and out. A new contact. Okay. Oh, what's this? Can we get up there? It doesn't look like it. Okay, nice. So we've made a friend. But who was the first person who calls us? Because that was not Nick, right? I don't believe so. <laughs> it was very weird. Well, at the very least, I have an ally of sorts. Okay, let's see. Which way are we supposed to go now? Uh, we can go left. We can go left again. Ooh, I don't know if we're making this jump, I'm gonna be honest. You think she's gonna try? <laughs> Ain't no way, right? Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Imagine she just flies through the air again. That would be, that would be crazy. Do it? I tried. They didn't let me. Do a flip! I'm kidding, don't do that. These uh, caves are um, connected, I think, to Garland. We'll have to go there later, so you'll see how widespread it is. If you uh, know the tunnels well enough, you can walk to and from practically any point in town completely underground. That sounds not creepy. <laughs> have you uh, been down here before? Me, uh, personally? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, sh you see this? Hello? Who's, who's out there? Can, can you go first, bro? Why? Okay, you know. Oh, uh. That was weird. Maybe it was just a shadow. Shadows don't glow yeah, red. Maybe. Just saying. Oh, is there something down here? Oh, let's go down, I think. Oh, hey, check it out. We could probably climb down this. Wow, your night vision is way better than Yeah, me. and climb down this, this for what? Oh, way. oh. Is there any path down here? Wait, what's the point of coming down here? I don't understand. <laughs> Why did we do this? What do we gain? Oh, oh, a path. Hey. Actually, I want to check out what's up top first. Because it seems like that path leads to a dead end. Mm, definitely not jumping that one. Oh. Jesus. Boo! Cones here or something. Lame! Maybe there's another way around. We need to get to the Lame. other side. Lame! Uh, 
Maybe it's not as far as it looks. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like my bones where they are. You're scared. Sorry, rap. You're scared. Oh, I would be too. Can't blame him. Okay. Down this way? Yes, indeed. Oh, this is so dark, bro. Oh! Uh. uh, uh Jacob? Hey, sorry. I just found another way out over there, but also alarm. Just a wind tunnel. I think I, I, I might have seen something in the water, but uh, never mind. It's gone now anyway. We'll be gone soon, Riley. Don't worry. Oh, oh. wow. This is I've a never ladder. Been Watch your step. I don't think this was meant for tourists. Yeah, I don't think so. There's junk all over. Just keep a lookout for a way out. Definitely. we Will do. Oh, what's this? Crashed it's elevator. Sad seeing this thing so broken. Oh god, I hope At no least one's there's no in skeletal there. remains, I guess. Doesn't mean it was empty when it crashed. Yo, what is this that? Thing? You really need to say that? Someone did. What is this? A bird? No way. Is a bird here? Yeah, that is a bird. Feathers, beak. It works. Uh, why is it here? I would guess to detect carbon monoxide, but no one's worked down here in decades. So, uh, it beats me. Should we, like, go? No? <laughs> Are we just, seriously? Okay. Hey, look, Jacob, it's an anchor. Yeah, which means it's another rope climb adventure. You first. Mm, boy. Sorry, bird. I, I don't make the rules here. Uh-oh. Uh, what? Is that? God, I don't know. Some kind of temporal anomaly? Like the thing in the sky? Let's avoid it if if we can. Or uh, let's see what's ahead. Hey, wait, you're just gonna we haven't seen if we can maybe just walk out. <laughs> we don't know what this thing will do. I wanna let's see what it see what this does. It I might help. Slightly to strongly disagree, but uh. Should we do it? <laughs> or should I leave? Seems like we have a choice here. I don't think messing with this is a good idea, but... Yeah, this is probably not a good idea. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> uh oh. Enter the tear! Oh! Okay, 1899. I think we're back when the mine was somewhat operational. I don't think anyone's around. What? Which means we time travel. We have traveled through time. Uh, on any other day, I'd be. Let's uh oh. see if the time tear opened anything up. What the heck? Hmm. Okay, I'm uh, starting to get. Sorry, it's it's not claustrophobia, but uh, we're just like on the precipice of madness here, you know? Traveled back kid, in time? Anxious, my brother and I would play a game that kind of helped me out. It was called One Word Story. Basically, two people tell a single story, one word at a time, bouncing back and forth. Should help chill us out. Chill me out, at least. <laughs> you want to play a game? Uh, sure. Sure, Sounds good. bro. Let's do it. Cool. Great. I'll start us off. Once. Now Upon. You Once Satan? Once. <laughs> Upon... Uh, it, this always happens. I'll skip ahead. It's like playing through on golf. So, once upon a time, there was a... Okay, now you go. Once upon a time, there was a... Monster. Monster. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Mm, named. Once upon a time, there was a monster named... Jacob. Jacob. Hey, that's me. Oh, some referential... Oh, the bird's there. gone. Lovely. Hmm. So, okay. Everyone. Loved. Loved. Aw, loved him. <laughs> the end. The end. <laughs> Good job. Hey, we did it. <gasps> the oh, elevator. Okay, so let's review. Once upon... Oh, looks like it's working. <gasps> another tear, another time tear. Oh. All right, get in, Jacob. Hey, it worked. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah. I can't believe this thing is working. This whole night is just melting my brain. Hey, be careful. I'm not dragging a corpse to the surface. Sorry. I don't care where you want your ashes spread. I'm careful. I'm being careful. Okay, so I'll take him up there, right? Go up there. 
Come on, Jacob. Okay. Nice. Whew. Okay. It's, uh, it's a little rickety, but... Uh, so you think actually, I'd jump from there? Yeah. Shoot. How are you going to get up? Parkour. I'd see another way once I was here, but... I'll... Uh, uh -oh. I... That, uh -oh. that oh. doesn't seem oh. good. Oh, oh, Climb up oh. fast. Oh. I think this place is having a minor meltdown. God damn it. The mine is collapsing. I don't have much time. Go, 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 go. Uh, Make the jump. The lift in a way that you can use it as a bridge. Maybe. Wait, what? Oh, my God. I thought this was the bridge way. You joking. Oh, my gosh. No, climb. Climb. Climb, woman. Climb like your life depends on it. Okay. There we go. Come on. Shoot. Dude, I thought I could like jump in and across, but it looks like I have to put it down a little bit more. Okay. That should be good. Okay, now make our way up there. Oh boy, it's rumbling. It's, it's rumbling. It's rumbling, all right. Go, 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 go. Jump! All right, just jump to me now. You're so close. Yeah, go, go, go! Oh, okay. We made it. We're back in, uh, you know, now. Whew, man. Yeah, thank the Lord or Lords above. That was a little scary. And it's really dark now. I can't, oh, thanks. He had a flashlight this whole time. All right, let's see. Oh, we made it out, nice. Love to see it. This is ladder work. I'm not really a big uh, Jacob believer of those. The mountain stood its ground. He knew he needed to climb it. He knew he could climb it. But the doubt, oh, such towers of doubt, if he actually would. All Riley right, man. These. Riley always climbed with these. <laughs> As she scaled the heights with ability and grace, Riley Poverly wished Jacob would get his ass. Watch your head! <laughs> Jacob right. noted Riley's impatience. To the surprise of well, that's a long Jacob rope. Was grateful. Embarrassed. What the? Grateful. All right, get up here, Jacob. Okay, looks like we have to get there. So through another Riley, cave system. Bones, do you think I'd break if I fell right now? Hmm. Break, not fracture. I'm talking an audible snap. Probably. Uh, let's go with like 96%. 96%. <laughs> nice even number. Nice instant death. And upsy daisy, and okay, didn't die. Sweet box ticks. After you, Gumshoe. Back to the caves. Back to the caves. All right. All this just to make it up to one point, man. And we have to do three of these. Oh boy, we're in for a, a long further. haul. So getting close. Thanks. Thank God. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. One latch at a time. He'll be fine. Just don't look down. Yeah, no doubt. He'll be fine. Ah, <laughs> Careful. Jump. Yes. I'm okay. Nice. Just keep going. Yeah, ah, I know. And my fingers are only bleeding a little. The ladder's just up ahead. Ladder. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. Ah! <sighs> Ouch. I think you dropped this. There. You doing okay, kiddo? Dad? Uh, Dad? I don't... Wait, what are you... Mother bears will protect their young, especially during mating season, so be extra careful not to break that light. Hey, look, kiddo. I'm sorry you couldn't go on your fifth grade field trip to the National Park. I know you didn't want me to come along and chaperone. You never liked a crowd, but... I'm just sorry I couldn't afford it. But we can do lots of hikes like this one over the summer. Right? So you don't have to mope around the house so much? Oh yeah, I remember this. That field trip. I mean, I don't know why they need $200 for a bus ride to a shared hotel room and communal dinner. I'll make it up to you though. Your uh, teacher said really nice things about you. Said you did really well in science class. And... Ms. Cavendish said you wanted to write your paper on mom. Riley, she expects you to interview someone for that. 
You have to think of somebody else. Somebody more available. I want to write about Mom. I told Miss Cavendish I would. Miss Cavendish doesn't know our history, Riley, or else she would have saved me this conversation. Your mother, she was incapable of most things. She couldn't love me, and she couldn't love you, and I know in your heart you want to find out why, but there's no why there. Her soul just has too many cracks, you see? It just can't hold anything for very long. You understand? No, not really. Maybe you won't ever, and that's okay too. We can talk about it later, after we find the clearing. What is happening? Oh shoot, I think we took a wrong turn. It's okay, climb up this ledge, and I'll meet you around the other way. By the creek. Won't take me an extra three minutes. Wait, don't... Don't, don't leave. I'm not leaving, just meeting up with you later. You can do this, Rybert. Now I'll see you up top in a bit. This is so sad. Meet you around the bend. Oh. Riley, hey, oh, here you are. I called and called, but echoes, that was... I didn't want to, you know, leave without you, though. I, uh... I think my, um... What the heck? Riley? You okay? I, I just saw my dad for a second. I was another time thing. I... It, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. It was just... You know, it's, it's nothing. I'm good. What the heck? Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's... Uh, let, let's do it. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's get out of here. This is so I'm sad. <laughs> ever. <sighs> yeah, I don't think he's coming back either. <laughs> Another one of those shrine thingies. Oh. Oh, that's a. Uh, uh, th that must be Violet. Was her name? Violet. I, I think she was out here somewhere. Hmm. We must be in range. Keep a uh, keep an eye out. Hmm. She's up here in these caves alone. It's kind of monk a W. Okay, just keep going here. I think. Yeah, this is near the top. Oh, almost Gotta there. Be a transmitter spot somewhere around here. Let's do this. Watch your step. Now that I've had a minute or so to process. Despite the fact that I went back in time to use a collapsing elevator from the turn of the century, I'm doing all right, surprisingly. Specifically regarding the, uh, the elevator. <laughs> Good I for say. you. <laughs> wow, that's just great. We're all very proud. <laughs> I smell sassafras, and that's just fine. You frass that sass. <laughs> okay. No, no, no! Oh. Uh, Riley, Don't hurt look, me! It's that girl Violet. She's one of parentage. Come on, we have to help her. What the? Don't cry. Don't die. No, I can't believe this is happening. Jacob, what, what are you, uh, what are you doing, pal? Can't meet me. I'm almost. I'm going to be 17. 16. I'm 17. I am. Oh, oh. You're told. I'm not going to take a nap. I'm not going. No. Can we tune him? Wait, we can't tune him. Unless you can't move me. I'm almost I'm going to here. No, I can't tune him. I'm 17. I am. Okay, we get it. You're 17. You're 17. What is happening here? I'm not going. Violet? No! Oh crap. Nothing. Hey, Jacob, please, he come on, up and at him, let's go. Dad didn't care. He didn't care about my wishes or he didn't care about your grades. About the, about me not having them or whatever. Okay, Violet, just, just stay with me, okay? Oh my god. How am I alive? 
How many falls have we taken? Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you. You doing okay? The peak is just over here. I'm trying. One more thing about school and then I'll drop it because I don't want to ruin the morning. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're going to kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends. No more science class. Is that what you really want? Are you mad at me? Am I in trouble? I'm not thrilled with you right now, but I don't know if that'll disrupt Pete tonight. I love pizza. Hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket there. Penny in my pocket? When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick. <laughs> a long stick? Under the ground. This stick is made of copper, like that penny. We call it grounding. Very important part of the job. Why'd you do that? Well, electricity is, uh... Is a lot like you, actually. It's always mad. <laughs> and okay. Being mad is what lets electricity do its job. But sometimes it can be too much, and that's when people get hurt. Just focus on the penny and just let it go. Just let go of being mad. Because sometimes electricity just needs to go somewhere. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a lot of things do. I'm... is this making sense? I don't know where your first is. Oh. I'm already the school. Uh... I have a test in history, and I can't make it up. Shake up! I shouldn't have to do this. Here we go. Just because you went out drinking, I lost your purse. I can't tune him in. Okay, it's fine. Do this. Here we go. Oh, here we go. There it is. Almost. There we go. Got it. Nice. That's one. Oh, he's back. Jacob. Is it over? Feels over. Did you go anywhere? Or I think I was upside down. Or maybe everything else was upside down and I wasn't. I don't know. Like remembering a dream. What about Violet? Eating dream. Let's see if we can help the kid. Oh. There she is. Listen. Stay right there. Okay, I'm... I'm... We're gonna stay right here. I have no reason to believe that you're real. Okay. It's only real if Olivia says it is. Olivia. We've been talking to each other forever. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Uh, Olivia and them. They won't let me stop. Mm. I just want to go home. That's okay. That's okay. You want to go home? Hey, I want to go home. Do you know where I live? I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> Violet, just relax. The adults oh, are here the now. adults are here you. now. They'll come for you too. Olivia won't stop. Violet, what will come for us? Just keep heading that way, away from us. You should end up near the cliffs. Might be some climbing. You okay with that? Oh. I'm going to get my friends and go home now. Uh, thank you. Would have been nice. Don't let them take you. Don't worry. They won't. Hmm. Should we have let her go? Because <sighs> I don't know if just letting her run off into the night was the right call. She could have fallen, Jacob. She could have... It, it, it could have been bad. Safe is better. At least for my psyche. Okay. Well, let's find a high spot for the transport. Oh, is that the right Come choice? Uh, I don't know. Well, only thing we can do now is... Put the transmitter up. Hope she's alive later. <laughs> it's the only thing we can hope for now. Oh my god, my head is... Okay, we're not gonna think about that. 
All right, transmitter, second one. Let's do this charity point. All right, let's see if it does something. Let's find out. This is gonna shoot another beam into the sky. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh man! Ah, there it goes. Huh. All right. These uh, seem to be working. Take that, you mask-wearing, moon-worshipping weirdos. <laughs> and the horse you came in on. Hey, is it gonna transport us again, though? On the trail. Okay, let's see. Seems like we're fine so far. Oh man, he's he's so fast now. Why couldn't you do that earlier? What the heck? Y'all see this? Bro is superhuman now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. What? I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me, huh? Uh, oh, I'm Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. And I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, I don't want to. Okay, we'll talk about something else then. Like, when I was your age, I- Oh my god, Our son? never mind. I told Brandon I was sorry. I told Mr. Severson I was sorry. And I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still, I just get mad and it's like, it's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts real bad. Yeah, sorry to break it, kiddo, but you really can't oh, punch every punched him. <laughs> There's laws and things to prevent that. I know. I know. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. A penny. Here, it's a penny. A penny? What for? Uh, so... Pretend you're like electricity. People who work with electricity put um, put copper in the ground just in case there's too much of it so it has some place to go. So next time you're mad, just pretend you're electricity and that penny is your someplace else. I feel like we could have explained that. Oh. Whatever. We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't want to do. Sorry, I, I was just back in fifth grade. Yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. Weird. God, this is, this is too weird. Mm, seconded. Hey, uh, a minute ago there, did you see a kid, like 12, maybe? Maybe younger? Uh, no? Pre pretty sure no. But I mean, it's still mm. pretty hazy. Uh, maybe I did and I don't remember? Sorry. Oh, right. We're supposed to call Evelyn, right? Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also, huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. It's crazy. <laughs> nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Yeah, I... No, I should. I'm sorry, my mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner, because she lives in Kamina, and... I haven't actually heard her. sister? Who's her sister? Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Oh, uh, Evelyn... What if her sister's on? out on the beach? I don't know how far beach. this thing has spread, but... Probably not further than the coast. Where does she live? On the coast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it should be okay. Didn't mean to laugh. Right. I just hope her phone's just dead. All right, sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. Who's her sister? Hmm. This looks like we're traveling to the future in these time discrepancies, right? Uh, so it looks like we can go over here. So our next point should be, oh man, it's far, oh gosh. Uh, so we don't have the radio yet, right? So we're gonna need to go to Tutega to Falls. How are we gonna get over there? Oh my God, do we actually have to take the entire loop around? Back to Jacob's place, 
over here, across the bridge, down here, up over here, through the, oh, oh gosh. Seems like we can take this part out, right? Okay. Let's head over to the next destination then. Get on hey, it. Riley. Oh. Lights on over there? Over. Hello. Hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Well, that's settle on different. <laughs> I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. Good to and know. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is the ocean is never still. Oh. Kenneth. Whatever happened at Fort Milner must have really messed things up for a while. Don't follow the whispers you hear on the radio. Those things are looking for someone to startle and to haunt. What the? Another Never note? Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. That's Never not good. Such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right, no, not frozen. I wouldn't be in motion if it was. <laughs> and yet, merrily I roll along. Uh, common sense would have me steer back home, but, uh, I should see what's out there. I'm gonna need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Mm. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, All right. Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt, I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. Sounds ominous. Oh, we don't have to take the caves again. There's a much easier way over here. Just, uh, to save time, you know? Oh, what the? You, why didn't you tell me that before we came all the way down here? Brother. <laughs> well, it looks like we're going to go across the bridge. I was I was thinking about that, too, but I was like, maybe we'll just go down the way we came. Uh, you, 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 you should have said something earlier. What the heck, man? Climb the ladder, cross the bridge, down the road. Okay, maybe we'll even see Violet here. Oh, yeah, that sure is a uh, something. Did we leave this rope here? Hmm. Who knows? Oh, I think we... Actually, I don't remember. This is gonna sound... But I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall. Uh -huh. period. That's when I'd see you during the day. Uh oh, Everyone you else seem to hurried, remember a lot. Definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. I never think about school. Or I try not to, anyway. It's hard for me to sit still for very long. Oh, man, me? I love sitting still. It's like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I don't have to move my body at all. That's a great day right there. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo. And I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year. Because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. Mm -hmm. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who look like her from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed mm. around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof, sorry. That's that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. Mm. Well, climbing anchor time. Is this even where we're supposed to go? We take the path down. Is this... Oh, I remember. Okay. This is where we tried to jump up to. Okay. So we can just go through here, right? Yes, yes, yes. This is where we fell. Yeah, a lot of the backstory is coming out. We're getting to know more about both Riley and Jacob here. As well as just like how everyone on the island is connected. It's such a small town. So everyone knows each other. Okay, this should take us back to the creek. And after this, trying to head down, I think. Oh, yep, back to his house. So we're gonna wanna go across the bridge next. Violet. Well, okay. Oh, okay. Me. They're Staying alive. The receiver unless it's an emergency. Over and out. Hmm. Sounds like they're starting to move around. Hmm. 
Better keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Interesting, interesting. So I think there's a bridge here that we could probably make it across. This way. Oh, wait. Hang on. Look. Look at what? It doesn't the... Oh, doesn't oh, the oh, oh. Here? Riley. Uh-oh. Oh, great. What is this? A backyard? <gasps> hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? What? They're tied. A lip tied? <laughs> it's tied. Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied. Show me. Hang on, look. See. Okay. Olivia? They can't oh, hear me. Wait, I, why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone's basically wasting all their time at once. So don't it kill was a people. Spider. I didn't nice. know it was in the drain. And now that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us. Oh, oh man. Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Hey, uh, hello? Can you hear me? So you can have a sip of Olivia. coffee later, hey. but not the whole mug like last time. I just time. want her to learn. And she will learn. Now. What do you want to do today? I want to do everything. Oh, uh -huh. no. no. Olivia. You. Me. How did you get in here. You have no right to be here with them. With who? We really need to. Oh. I just. I don't Is that know a memory? On. Why I can't keep it together? <gasps> this is the right night. Maybe that it has to be. They would have been. You told me if it wasn't her parents. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. But those were her parents, right? Riley? Okay. Riley, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do what? What did you see? I don't know, man. I think she was with our parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know. She seemed sad, desperate a little. Hmm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. Okay, I think it's all starting to come together. It's all starting to come together here. I think I finally understand their motives and why the people are doing what they're doing in the story. I think I'm finally starting to understand here. It's starting to make a little more sense. It's starting to make a little more sense here. We'll just take the short path down to the beach and then it's uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. Uh, how close are we? To the ranger station, too. We're close to the falls? How close? Uh, close. Another few city blocks. City blocks aren't close. that bad. I feel like more than a few, but, uh, yeah, we're almost there. Wait, so do we go this way? You, uh, you're Ooh. pretty good at this stuff, right? Walking? <laughs> what? Walking? No, come on, you know what I mean. You're like a athletic, outdoorsy. I trust you to start a fire. Was this like part of what you uh what what you did in the military? Oh, we were in the military. This sort of thing. Was this like part of your training? Mm, I was barely in the uh, army. I was only in the army just long enough to get the right boots for my size. I learned in the army bed, properly clean a bathroom, but I've been climbing trees since before I could talk. <laughs> Got it. Do you uh miss it at all? Uh, the army? Uh, miss what? Being in the army? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I've never been a big group person. I'm too egomaniacal for that. I, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh my God, we actually have to go all the way down just to climb this island to, or climb this mountain to get back up. <laughs> hey, you doing okay? <laughs> is this guy good? Are you kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> all right, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, there's only one way out. 
We gotta go up here. Oh my God, we have to go through here and then down across the beach and then up here and then through this path over here, up the island, climb these rocks, go around, go through some ruins, climb more stuff to get up here. Are you serious? <sighs> oh, oh. Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Who's that? Carly. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Go, go, get get him. go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him? But I'm trying. <laughs> he has something. Hey, what does he have? Also, why is he wearing a mask? Do you see that? Charlie, calm down. He locked up. Are you sure? Wait. Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady. You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, you or bad me? things are gonna happen. Hey, wait, come on. We helped out your buddy Violet, okay? She was in trouble, and now she's not because of us. And now we need you to open the gate. <laughs> Maybe we get you out of trouble too? Sound fair? Violet didn't need you, and neither do I. None of us need you. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Wait! Just go, okay, bread. climb around. Come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? God damn! Go hell also. God, you and your entire free hey, show calm, calm, okay, calm, okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You can breathe. <laughs> oh my god. god it's just mm, so annoying. And if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier. Well, what do we do now? <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. Actually though, what do we do now? He locked There's us out. The key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Oh my god, we got to <sighs> go all the way back up. So, uh, gingerbread. What's Oh, yeah. Uh, that it's um this is incredibly dumb but two summers ago i was at the beach and i went to go to the bathroom in a you know one of the latrines they have there and as a prank some high schoolers pushed it over and i fell out practically naked and they call me gingerbread now as a uh, goof uh, and that's it not a whole lot to explain. But why gingerbread? But why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... That's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Like I said, it's dumb. <sighs> oh, like, who cares what a bunch of delinquent <laughs> kids call you? They're probably just jealous you have pubes. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I tell myself, too. <laughs> Thank you. T-T-M-I, uh, T-M-I. Um... Okay. Did not need to know that, but all right. <sighs> okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station. So, you're welcome. Thanks. Looks empty, but Jesus, what happened oh, whoa. here? Looks like like parentage ransacked the place or ha had a séance. God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger, are you uh, in the bathroom? No, I don't think so. Is there uh, nothing in here? Maybe if we'd come here instead of Charity Point, you know? No, we don't know when they left. This, we could have been too late no matter what. There's broken glass over here. That oh. guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have been in walkie. Spectacular. Let's just look for a gate key to get back on the road. Roger. Mm, papers. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. Oh, more things over here. A drawer. Oh, phone? Eh, redial. I'll uh, just redial the last number. Okay. Nothing? This is Shelly, park ranger at Oberon Station. Ooh. Uh. Anyone there? You're a park ranger. We're, we're at the, um, the Turnstone Forest Ranger Station and need to report a crime. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports oh. of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, I tell her what's going on. Fires have, started. have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's, it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. Ooh. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, Riley and uh, Jacob. Riley and Jacob were both, or were both residents. Jacob still is. So, Riley, it's not a storm. 
something else is going on. How much are we going to tell okay. this person, though? I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Oh? Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. S Times two. So you'll help. So you'll help us out. I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell, we have to provide our own pens. <laughs> I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Oh, Talk new contact. Minute. New contact. There we go. Actually, speaking of which, how do I use the walkie-talkie again? Oh, okay. We should check in with Nick here. Nick, it's Riley. You didn't sink, right? Hey there. Still floating. I appreciate the checkup. Water took a turn, though. Not a friendly one. We're not quite in Charlie Foxtrot territory, but... Charlie you know, Foxtrot? It gets worse. I can still handle it, but... Air Force? I'm guessing Army? Should I <laughs> slow down? Use simpler words? <laughs> what the? Only teasing. I have nothing but admiration for the grunts. That means I like you, in case admiration has too many syllables. Oh my Couldn't god. speak for the current state of the service, but when I was your age, everyone was itching for the fastest, shiniest bird in the coop. Everyone wanted to fly. Everyone. I wanted to explore. I wanted the shuttle. Interesting. The fly boys have their pissing contest. Ever see the inside of a shuttle? Over. Sure. On TV, like everyone else. I was too tall, you see. They cap astronauts at six foot four. I'm over by a single... Damn, this dude's 6'5"? Genetics. Crazy. What you gonna do? Not like I could cut my feet off. <laughs> Though the thought had occurred. Yeah, all right, Nick. Good catching up, but I gotta go. Okay? Over. Ah, okay. I'll see you around. Over and out. I wonder if we'll ever see him. Hey, Riley. You oh. There? Over. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect. You sound clear. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, where's the gate key? Uh, yeah, actually, do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. Oh. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. And looks like it's right here. She seems nice. Can I even grab it? If Ranger Shelly actually helps us? Sure, very nice. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. At least that's what she said. Alright, head back down. God, I wish there was a sprint option. When you said you were barely in the, uh, in the army? Sorry, it just reminded me. How's, uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line. <laughs> and the clerk asked about you or something, and, uh... Your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? There's a story there? Or? The only story is my mom wanted Anna. After Anna. After Roman empress that fought with her legion on the front lines. But she left, so my dad could call me whatever he wanted. Oh. He also Interesting. <laughs> mentioned how proud he was that you, I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Hmm. I'm sure he was proud. I'm sure he was telling every mechanic and bag boy that his little girl was going to be raining napalm on bad guys <laughs> any day now. I disappointed him, eventually, but at least he got that morning, right? I'm sure he's... yeah. Here we go. Opening the gate. There we go. Finally. Okay, on to the beach. We only have to go around and climb the mountain again. And this will be the second transmitter. God, if that stupid kid hadn't locked the gate, we'd already be there. It's getting late, too. Moon's rising. All right, what's the fastest way down? Actually, we could we could climb here. I keep thinking about what they could be doing. Like what they could be trying to do. The parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, <laughs> just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. I feel like there's going to be an or coming. Or... What if they're right? About what? what if whatever they're trying to do is What the right are they trying to do, though? I uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Uh, really? You think so? I mean, I don't know, of course, but, you know, they believe in astrology, soul, 
warping crap like that. Uh -huh. Broken clock twice a day sort of thing. Uh, I don't know, though. Just and that's why they're in a cult wearing masks going around doing rituals on the island. I'm remind myself that I, too, was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. Interesting. Trying. Maybe not succeeding, <laughs> but trying. There has never been a single teenager who was also not an asshole. It's, I don't know, biological law. <laughs> biological law. Oh. <laughs> ah, damn it. There's a guy. Hey, wait Jacob, for me. Come on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh, oh! Oh, jeez. Will you come here? Uh oh. Jacob, wait! Slow up! He's getting away! Oh my god. No! He's giving chase! Hey, Jacob! You there, buddy? Uh oh. Um. I'll take that as a no. Okay, there's a, there's a rock here. But we can't get back up here. Um, you think we can jump? No. Dude. Okay, can we do anything here? Climb? No. Rover, Red Rover, who wants to come over? Hello? Uh, who, uh, who is speaking? Monka. Who, who? Are you an owl? Tag, tig, tiggy, tips, touch and go, and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Okay. Okay, fine, whatever. If this, this is what you want. Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks, and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. I don't think that's how 20. it goes. 19. Huh? Warm. 18. Warm? 17. Even warmer. Warmer? 16. Oh, here? 15. Cool. Cool? Wait, she said even warmer down here. Warm. 13. Over here? Warmer still. Warmer. 12. Warmer. Warmer? Hot. Hot. 11. What's here? 10. Ooh, hot. <gasps> Fire. Burning. 9. What is that? Less warm. Wait. It's the lamp. It's the, it's the light. Why is the there light. a light here? All right. Beeper, weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. The chimney, he did shove her. The body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time a fire. <laughs> What? 13. Cold. Cold. Uh oh. Oh no. 12. Uh oh. Uh oh. 11. Huh? Huh? Warm. 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 10. Heating up. Heating up? <gasps> the fire down here. Warmer. 9. It's down here. It's down Warmer here. Still. 8. Hot. Hot. Chim there's a burning the chimney. It's there's a chimney, chimney here? Correct. Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block, I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave, I'll give him a cave. Huh? If you have any information regarding the disappearance of little <laughs> This is so creepy. It has to be this rock, right? Fire! Nine. Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. It's so Winner. creepy. Hickory dickory dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? Oh? Hiding? Oh, whoa, dude, this woman's strong. That was very creepy. So an unknown voice. Ladybird, lady fly away home. Your children are under the Grindle Stone. Come find me. Uh, no, thank you. What the? That is so creepy, though. Can you imagine? Oh 
God. It's a long way down. <laughs> what is this? A shoe. What? What is left? Do you see? Oh, oh. I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Uh, huh? And most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've... I, uh... I don't know what to do next. Well, everybody's different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? So is this, this is the future, right? Or is this the past? Well, I, I think, it's think the future. my favorite memory is when you threw up on mom's sandals. Sandals? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten about that. Blissfully forgotten. <laughs> I hadn't. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really Oh. You don't need to hug me. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. What? Are you afraid someone's watching? Nobody's watching. It's not that. It's... I just don't want that. Mm. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. <laughs> I know I can't punch every problem, but I really wish he was going faster. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Huh? Please don't die before I do. Nobody talks about how scary funerals can be, huh? This is nothing, kiddo. There's going to be much worse funerals. You got to got to get used to it. Don't look away. I I don't like seeing him alone. I can't we isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but- No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. I'm sorry, but kiddo, come on. You can't be with him, and that's all right. Rex? What is he doing? Hey, yo, what the? Damn it. Ugh, damn it! Hey, what are you doing? I don't want to see him. I don't want to. Mom? Riley? Riley? Oh. What the? I was put in another time, I think. Oh! <laughs> sure. There was a kid there. Kept calling me his mom. His name's Rex. Rex? Oh. Wow. Uh, what was he like? It's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Never mind, honestly. Let's just... Anyways, how did you get down here and what's going on? He's, well, Charlie got away. Sorry to say. And he took off over the hill. And I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. Hmm. Well, thanks for trying anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. Well, let's get going. Zon funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Yeah, waiting for you. Well, who's up with that shoe, though? What is... What is all that about? In the cave, you know? That was a little bit creepy. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was... Let's call it focused. Yeah, that's still <laughs> enough. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 come here, come here. What is up with this cave? You think the shoe's still here? And if so, who is it? Do you think a ghost was leading us to their remains? It's evidence of ghosts, right? What if... What if the kid came in the cave and then the boulder blocked off the entrance and then you know how the walkie-talkie said what's left is just the shoe? That's so creepy. Oh my god. Alright, anyways, we gotta head back up here. Yeah, because remember, it was it, the walkie-talkie was giving us all these riddles of different uh, 
different crimes and murders and stuff. Oh, Lord. All right, finally ending up here. Maybe we'll catch up with Charlie again in the future. Uh, get up. All we got to do is place our transmitter, though. Oh. 1 a.m. Here are the, the ruins here that we're passing by. We're near the top. We're near the top. There he is. Son of a... God, oh. <laughs> hey, get back here. Hello. Hey. Jacob, relax. Relax. Kid. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, take a little tumble there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. <laughs> what the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? Yeah, let's take punch him. shot, gingerbread. I got all night. Oh my I won't god. Even move. <laughs> Land a solid one. Right okay, ahead. shut up. Shut, shut up. up already. Let me tell you, you're not helping the situation. Oh, what the hell do you know about it? You're as old as you are stupid. Hey, yo! Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. Okay, just tell us what you and your little pals are up to, and we'll think about letting you go. Letting him go? What we're doing tonight? It's gonna change our lives. Change everything. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? Nice. Hmm, funny. I know, right? <laughs> That's it. I've had enough of this, this, whatever this is. I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, hey yo! Oh, you understand? Okay, all right. Enough. Jacob, stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Getting bad? This night is literally falling apart, and it's this prick's fault! Him and his whole crew! They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff, and now tonight is too much! Jacob, really, just calm down. We'll figure it out, okay? Oh my god. Oh. He's going Fine. crazy. Whatever. Do it your own way. He's going crazy. So, what? Are you like a cop? Don't worry about me. Explain tonight. Explain? We're making things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. What's I can't let mean? her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with that. Not for you. No way. You need whose help? What what's going on here? Oh. I wait. Who's? Oh. Whoa. Uh. Is this? Oh God. Uh, he's. It's like he's sleepwalking. I Can we know. tune him out? This is nuts. No, we can't. Oh. Bro is gone. Huh? There you go. Oh, oh ch -ch 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 chill. Chill out. Chill out. What should we do? Uh. Oh, we can't. We can't just leave him, right? Let me tune him out here. I, I know I'm hearing a radio signal. There it is. Jesus! Are we sure about this? Hold on, kid. I'm. This might help. There it is. Oh, that's a large one. Oh. Hey, catch him! Catch him! Oh. But she left. The mother left. Never to be seen again. Boys, back home. Never. Far away. What do you want? With me? With with anything? What? Wants? We will take whatever we need for this to work. Your future is our future. Now. No matter what happens. This? My future? What, what does that mean? Oh. This has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. It's 
Hey, yo, catch him! Catch him! Oh, wow, that was a... Oh, man. Oh, okay, he's... There's, there's no blood. Nothing's shattered. I think he's asleep. I'm not, like, unconscious, but, like, sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? I'm jealous. How good does a nap sound right now? I mean, paradise, but I'm just glad he's okay. Well... Reap what you sow, buddy. I have little sympathy. I'm sorry, but back to the, uh, the, the stealing our future stuff. I mean, should we be doing, like, anything about that? Ye I mean, yeah. Any, uh, any thoughts? Let's, uh, plant the transmitters. Jacob, it's the same as it's been. We plant the transmitters. We stop those kids. We stop the ghosts. We go home and have a shower. Roger. All right. Leave the kid here. I mean, he had it coming, man. We should be able to get to the top of the waterfall this way. Okay, transmitter. Let's find a place for it. Let's go. I guess we're just gonna leave him on the bridge. Um. And uh, hey, I, I just want to say. <laughs> I hope he's okay. <laughs> too hot with the kid. Don't sweat it. It's over. Thanks. I just, I don't know. Kid just really got under my skin. I'll be back. As do most don't kids. Worry. All right, here we go. I, I'd place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest. Whoa! What is this triangle thing? Do you see this? Is that the leftover thing? All right, put it down here. Dude, what if he's gone by the time we get back down? I can see that happening. All right. Oh, right there. Here we Ooh. go. Nice. All right. That's the third transmitter so far. Oh. <gasps> You're never going to believe this. I just got a vision from the future. We catch nothing and get takeout for dinner. I guess we got to go <laughs> home. Uh-oh. They're usually very the ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. <laughs> what? We're catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. The guy at the store said so. What are we using? Oh, um, what, what are we using? What's the difference? The difference between what we're using and live bait is that our bait is dead. Touching uh, mother-son moment so here. Let's just go to seafood samples. Please? <laughs> seafood samples. used to it. That's your answer to everything, but ugh. <laughs> Facts. Kid chucked my penny really? into the ocean. Please, I'll share my hush puppies. Keto, cool it. We can breathe. We can walk. Try being grateful instead. It's a much better way to wait. Oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Pizza? What the? Someone put this kid in his place. Check it out. I, I, I think I got one. Almost got him. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, can we fry him? Huh? Is that a thing? <laughs> I want to eat him tonight. That's okay. If it's big enough. Oh. Um, it's dead. Mom. <gasps> oh. Mom. Mom. Find something to hide under. I love fried fish, but what just happened? And where is Jacob? Jacob. Uh. Uh. Let's let's radio in with um. Here. Evelyn first. Wait, there's nothing to radio. Hmm. I can't even radio them. Jacob? The kid is gone. Oh. Is that him? Were you were you buried alive too? Take a like, breath. Not in dirt, but in bugs? Hey, it's okay, man. Take a second. I okay, I'm trying to take it. Hmm. I would take all the seconds, but I just want to get out of here. Only Charlie one more left. Must have left. Or I, I don't know what. I don't care. What about finding Charlie? Jesus, we chased the kid halfway through the freaking county. <laughs> yeah, and we found him, and then, you know, nightmare. So seriously, screw Charlie, screw this waterfall, screw everything. We planted the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. All right. <sighs> <sighs> Oh man, that was brutal. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. 
and he knows me and yeah <laughs> you're not getting that not really no uh, i'm sorry i don't know why i'm apologizing but i'm apologizing sorry uh, where did this dude go where's charlie Eesh, people really love tagging everything up here oh that yeah that's been here a while though yeah like when my dad was a kid he had his photo taken and this was in the picture Damn. Something about it being old just makes it more uh, acceptable for some reason. Does it now? All right. Uh, let's call in Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter is planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right. Let me look at these readings. Yep. Okay. This is... Oh, how? So, wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel. Sure. And air waves oscillate in the same direction. Uh-huh. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Hmm. Or possible. Uh, so what does that mean? Over. We're dealing with it the supernatural. right. And the rate of decay on these, it's... This is unbelievable. Oh, I'm sure it is. Crap, my mom is calling me. Crap. I haven't heard from my sister yet, and she she's gonna ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried. Uh, my mom's gonna flip. Uh, crap. I don't know what to do. Lie about your oh, sister. Just make up something. <laughs> no need to worry your mom as much as you are when you don't know if anything's wrong yet. Yeah, I I think you're right. I'm always right. God, okay, this call is going to suck. Sorry, Riley. I have to take this. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. All Hello. right. <laughs> Well, that's one. Anyways, we need to plant one more transmitter. So I'm thinking we head back over to the left here. Try to go up to the falls where we, or try to go up to the church where we first tried to plant it. And then see if we can get a key to open the gate. So yeah, it's so far, man. We got to go all the way through here, but it is what it is. Let's check in with Shelly. Oh. Oh, hey, Riley, oh. hold up a second. Listen to this. I'm, I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in Gingerbread. <laughs> the lady stopped Jacob from, like, getting into a fight with me, practically. Oh, really? She, actually, her and that guy helped me out a little. I'm heading to the church now. Oh, they're going to the church. Stop talking on open air. Shut up. <laughs> wait, 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 but is the, is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Over. Shut up. Seriously. There is no plan. What? <laughs> Uh huh. Bye. Over and out. Um, that uh, okay, does not that sound good. Didn't sound good, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. You're talking about disrupting the transmitter signals with a radio station, which unfortunately could potentially work. How do you know which, that? Uh, isn't good. Okay, but what would that have to do with the church? That's where they said they're going, right? They're talking about. They have to be talking about the community center. That group, Parentage, that took over the lease. And sometimes they rent out the space, but Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. Huh. I, I think they're going to use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Interesting. Mm. You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off or just break it first. I mean, they're not there yet. <laughs> Olivia's friends screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but I think it's the only option we have. All right. A uh, counter thought. What if they beat us there? Uh, well, we can't let that happen. Where is their equipment? The church? Are we try and get to the church? I guess so. Well, we gotta make it all the way across the island, though. That's crazy. You know, when I first heard about the frequencies, the, the weird radio chatter, I thought, man, Maggie, really onto something. Maggie Way Adler? Any of the rest of us was. And this is weird, I know, but... I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later. What does that mean? <laughs> the, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I just don't want my life to be defined by inertia. Inertia? Just don't let it be. Not for yourself. And who cares what anyone else thinks about how Well, this is not the right way. Is. There's something down here, though. Yours. I have visions of me in the future. Uh, I... Hmm. Oh, 
I saw the green flash again, this time at sunset. It wasn't as bright. I would apologize, but you told me not to. So instead, I will try to show gratitude. Thank you for not hating me. Thank you for having the courage to point out what was clearly right in front of me. Thank you for tolerating the absolutely dreadful coffee I make in the morning. Anna would want me to let go. Anna would be furious at me for this pitiful little cage I've built for myself. I can see her now, flustered and cursing and thrusting me into your arms. Best of luck with your life and your heart. Though you'd insist it's not needed, I hope someday you can forgive mine. F M. From Maggie? Who's she writing to? Who's Jay? Future, different dogs, hmm. different shows on the TV. But I haven't left. I haven't done anything. I don't talk to my brother in New York really ever. Interesting. Because he feels bad for me. I just hope he's wrong to feel that way. Letter from future Jacob? No, I don't think so. Well, you're sure as hell doing a lot tonight. It's it's a letter from Maggie to someone time goes, titled so Jay. Been around to help stop it. And I don't think that Jay is Jacob. <laughs> I'll quote you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. <laughs> For sure. All right, let's keep going here. So the ranger station was this way, I think. Yeah, so we're going up here again. Up the rope. Oh, th was there a way around? I did not see that. Gotta make it to the church. Gotta go fast. Down this way. Oh, I think we came down here. Let's see. Damn. Look at them scaling these like 20 foot walls. That's crazy. I could, I could not. <laughs> I could never. Oh, right. We have to jump across. I forgot. Yeah, but I wonder what's going to happen after we actually place down the last frequency or the last transmitter. What could, what could possibly change here? It's going to shut the portal down? What if it doesn't? How do we know that? All right, let's see. Okay. Um... Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, last transmitter should be at the church, which is where we're trying to go anyways. So I think it makes sense. Let's check in with Shelly. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh Lord. God, yes. Oh. I have heard of the effing parentage. Effing Sorry, parentage. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's oh. like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Okay, gross. Right? I can't stand getting dirt under my fingernails, let alone... Uh. Uh, on duty, Shell. Come on. Exhibitionist. Uh, anyway, hmm. Who was this one member, though? She died a few years back. Uh, don't know. Wasn't so hippy-dippy. More a scary Harry. How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Huh. So, bog standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance-offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Super horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. What does that mean? Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire and bodies. But pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Huh. Interesting. But anyways, we gotta go through this tunnel, I think. And I think we should check in with Nick as well. Hey, Nick, it's Riley. You staying safe out there? Hey, yo, this dude does not sound okay. Uh, what the? Turn around right now. It's not safe out there. Radio and focus. Oh, huh. that doesn't sound great. Yeah, I just hope he's smart enough to turn around. 
Oh, man. Um, another letter here. They must have gone wrong with their whatever they were doing. Mel, since you didn't want to hear it, you'll just have to read it. Our work will not yield the results you're looking for. It just won't. Tom, I'm so very sorry to say it is beyond our reach, beyond anyone's reach. Though hypocritical of, or hypocritical of me to say, I encourage you to look forward. If that's as impossible for you as it is for me, then perhaps try to change exactly how exactly you look back. Take Hank to visit Tom. I know he's an infant. For now, it's not for him. And when Hank is old enough to understand, tell him about his older brother, Tom. That small patch of earth, those letters carved in stone, they can mean so much more than a place for pain. The world has enough of those. Make it something else. Make it better. Something better. Thank you for your help. My work never would ha never have grown as it has without you. Now go find Hank and take a walk. And if you see me there wandering, do wave Maggie. Oh boy, sounds not great. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, we gotta make it. We gotta make it over uh, to the church here, right? Yeah, we gotta. We gotta go through the cave down low. So town should be this way. Or is it downwards? Shoot. It's downwards. It's downwards. This way. I think we're nearing the last transmitter too, so things are about to get real interesting. And I think this is also where Jacob's car hey, is. Are you there? Oh. Over. Hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm here. Um, over. I've been getting calls from local residents uh, concerning sightings. I guess. Sightings. People reporting seeing a, what I would assume is a sort of bioluminescence out in the storm. Mm -hmm. They're not talking about the situation above Edwards Island. Oh, not the situation above Edwards Island. So is there another storm happening at the same time? This is something else, but it's hard to get a visual from my station, even with the binoculars. Have you seen anything like glowing objects of varied sizes? Uh, they could be talking about other uh, portals. And when I say portal, I mean literally a portal. It's a triangle cut in the sky. There's uh, more than one. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to investigate, and it'll take me probably half an hour. Just wanted you to know. You can still contact me. If you have any questions. Mm, okay. Uh, we'll keep a lookout for any creepy people in masks running around. They're uh, kind of the bad guys here. Okay, good to know. I'll see if I see anybody. I'll check back in with you whether or not I see anything. Hmm. Over and out. Interesting. Anyways, can we even get through so, this? This thing is still locked. And we still have no way to get through. Let's keep looking. Not uh, here. Wait, so where am I supposed to look then? Hmm. Because we've placed this, and I thought our next goal was to get over to the church right because that's where they're trying to go mm. oh go to parent oh parentage church not the church of the grand architect oh it's down on the beach what the heck there's two different churches here so, okay can i ask you the dumbest question in the world yeah not like you've and been asking dumbest, many dumb, smart questions embarrassing. throw a sad rock sure yeah sure why not because it's dumb. It's the dumbest, but but I'm still asking. Uh-huh. Do you uh wanna be friends after this? <laughs> Absolutely like not. Friends. Legit, no prefixes. Oh and not even like huh? best friends. More like it's 3 a.m. I need a cheeseburger and a cherry Danish. Who would join me on this quest? Huh. <laughs> yeah, Jacob. Consider it done. Hey, great news. So go ahead and shelve me in the I need help moving tier. I need help moving tier? <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a, is that a tier? I need help moving. <laughs> but probably oh my god! I need a kidney level. That is so, funny. We are officially friends without prefixes. Congratulations, Jacob! You made a new friend. It's a title. For for uh, you know, the record. <laughs> you already named it perfectly. We are three a.m. food friends. That's like a thing. Is it now? Oh my god! Well, I hope this is the right direction, but. <laughs> That was funny. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, this is the right so way. We're Let's go. Making it a thing, right now. Hell yeah, 3 a.m. food friends. Yes, thing made. All right, well, let's survive the night, and maybe someday we can get drunk playing mini golf. 
Yeah, sounds sounds great. Oh my god, I cannot believe that was the stupid question that he had. That is actually so funny. <laughs> 3M Food Friends is a strong bond not to be taken lightly. That is factual. I do have to agree with you on that. That is factual. All right, make our way over to the church, break some of their equipment, and uh, call it a good. Everything should be fine after that, right? And then hopefully we can find a radio while we're at it and uh, unlock right. the gate. Whew. I uh, think we might have gotten here first. Seems pretty quiet. Took Just, a long uh, detour the along the way. <laughs> oh, it's open. Ayo. Hey, what does that mean? Is this gate normally open? Uh, not this late. Olivia might have beaten us here. Mm. Well, only one way to find out. Let's see what we're working with here. 2 a.m. Hey, it's almost time for our uh, 3 a.m. food friends meeting. It's open. Oh, this is creepy. Even Hello? in third person. What the? Okay, we're in the clear. So, if we're right, there's radio equipment around here somewhere. Is that a Let's radio? Just find it and destroy it before they get here. We can start upstairs, or... Okay, what is that on the ceiling? Do you see this? Are we sure that no one else is here? What if there are other uh, members killing goats in the basement or something? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Goats in I the don't basement. Hear anything? At least no goat screaming. I think we're okay. Doors locked. Now, if I were a radio station transmitter with a long range antenna, where would I hide? On the roof. Oh, it's I the outside. I from here, but from which broom closet? It's gotta be up the tower, it right? Help that it's so dark. It's gotta be up here. It's warm, at least. Maybe here? No coffee machine. Cool, guys. Found their bulletin board, if that helps. Which it doesn't. <laughs> Looks like there's a receipt here for some military hardware. Military hardware? Yeah, this is odd. Parallaxing can happen even when waning. There's a construction paper clock here that goes to 32 in the morning. What is this? What are you talking about? Oh, this is weird. Huh? Wait, I remember now. Those markings when we walked in, they looked so familiar. I've seen these around town. A lot. And, and, and they always looked kind of, you know, amateurish. Like young people made them. And, and with a purpose and a sequence. Okay. I think it's how Olivia and them communicate. Are you saying that they copied these or, or what? Uh, maybe. That is a little freaky. Mm. I, I just wonder what any of this has to do with... <gasps> First glimpse of the far side of the moon. Are you saying they copied these? Or, or what? Oh, I hate when they do this. Let's just find that station equipment before anything uh, happens. Yeah, good call. Oh. Uh, oh, is that it? Well, found the antenna. Looks too sturdy to damage, honestly. Yeah, looks like it's from the 50s. Or 40s? A military tech from that era looked very similar. Hmm. This stuff is made out of alloys that ain't gonna bend. Throw a Let's brick find at a it. Control panel that works it. Control panel. Where could I control? Here. Oh. 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 This is one of those. We we used to call them casters in the army. Oh, it's nice. It's a radio with a broader range. It'll work on on that lock back in Garland. Ooh. Radio okay. Locks. Oh, awesome. Upgrade. Found that. Where is the control panel though? Where could that be? You think? Oh, it's probably up here. No. Through this door? Door says observatory, but it should say locked observatory. That mm. isn't how you spell observatory, whoever wrote <laughs> that, but it's close. Damn. Where could it be? Imported from the finest chandeliers RS, I'm sure. Cable, cable. Hey, this looks like something. A cable running the length of the center? Must be connecting the antenna outside to something under us. The hidden laboratory, I presume? Oh, shrine. The specter of the mountains. Hey, Jacob, you know what this thing is? Uh, the mountain specter is a hallucination. Visual phenomena thing. Interesting. At the bottom, there's some art taped to it. Looks like children's drawings. That's weird. Is that weird? Oh, looks refrigerator worthy. I'm right? off the screen. Yeah, it kind of is charming in a way. Can I get my POV back? Thank you. Okay, there's something here. 
A door. Oh, it's unlocked on the outside. Here it is. Here it is. Hey, Jacob. Dark shine and the fate of Fata Morgana. Oh, the cable Do runs here. Normally put on children's stuff. Because that's what this is, right? I mean, honestly, Riley, I don't know. I haven't heard of it. You know, Jacob, I have to say, I know we've seen some stuff tonight. Like, we've seen some stuff, but this, this isn't stuff. This is people who've taken stargazing past, <laughs> you know, like what some people would call normal levels. Astrology. But, but it's not really. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. It's all just a little too... Tame? Um. <laughs> positive like, energy? Positive energy. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but... Uh, uh, whatever, so they're not evil. Or don't appear to be. But what are they, they trying to do? Bad Muzak on Sunday, so let's find out where and rip out the circuitry. Isn't it here? Is this not the circuitry? I think that cable tracks all the way to... Here. Something feels off about the floor. It feels hollow, right? Hollow floor? Ayo? A trap door? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Underneath the church. Ooh, look. See? This goes down to a basement. All right. Oh, strange. There's no keyhole or combo. Uh. God, I know something's down there. You don't oh. lock the cellar unless there's a monster to hide. Here we or go. Radio stuff. There awesome. it is. That's some fine radio unlocking. Yeah, great. Cross your fingers. There's not just a bunch of old blankets down there. Oh, this does not look like old blankets. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, sorry. The dust is getting to me. Wear a mask. But yeah, jackpot. God, look at this stuff. That's a Rhino 320. Uh-huh. Control board for the station. Check out the antenna cord going up through the floor. She would have won beauty contests in 1978, <laughs> but not so much now. Okay, let's, uh, let's smash it. Smash or, it? Uh, something. <laughs> it just can't be functional when Olivia gets here. Man, it's a shame to just wreck it, you know? Doing the Lord's work is never easy. All right, man. Be my guest. <laughs> Throw a brick at it or something. Oh, you want me to do it? Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. I guess the cult members will need to get their traffic updates from some other source now. Too bad. Look around. Okay, well, that's done. Where, Let's where oh, listen. This you hear that? Place is... It wasn't in your shed. No. Oh, it's the, uh, you the said kids. Be in your shed. Olivia and them. It wasn't in the shed because he doesn't keep it in the shed. Wait, Olivia, we gotta get out of here. We were here to broadcast the. Yes, we're here to cancel out their stupid transmitter array. But if we don't also fix our antenna, blocking out their signal won't help us. And your uncle has a, a toolbox somewhere? He did at one point, but what was that? Oh, 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 uh oh. Ah, crap. Is, is that? Riley, are you in here? Okay, let's oh. take a breath. Take a breath. Oh, oh, oh. You're oh. time devotional, you disgusting piece of garbage. Oh. Do you have any idea where you are? I thought we were going to escape, man. These walls are sacrosanct. Right, you know what, Olivia? We're stopping this. This has gone way too far. Too far? It hasn't gone far enough. We're not even... We haven't even done it yet. Done what? What are you even trying to do? Is parentage... Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. What studio. ceremony, though? Charlie, take them down. You have your knife, right? My huh? knife? Are you kidding me? You brought it. To, like, uh, cut... Just shut the hell up, Olivia. Guys, don't listen to her. She's out of control. Charlie, focus up. Don't listen to the... Focus up. Track. Come on. You're telling... She was nice to me before. <laughs> what does that even mean? Nice? Charlie, come on, man. Let's call it a night, okay? I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. Go I, home, man. Go Olivia, home. I'm, Olivia, I, I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? What the? I, I don't. I'm not quitting, but, but okay, what? Okay, just leave her alone, Olivia. You didn't see her at Charity Point. She's had a rough night, right, Violet? I... I... Nothing has even happened yet. It's all noise and fury. They haven't fixed it. Who hasn't fixed what? Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? N not really. This is once every 10, no, 20 years. And once this is done, we are all set. Absolutely nothing is going to... I'm, hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. <laughs> what? Yeah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> what? We're both out? We, we just... 
In many forms of games, being uh -oh. out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing uh -oh. area and can result in severe penalties. Shut up! Right. Please. Please. Oh. Hello. Please. Oh. Enough. Hello. Uh-oh. You cannot triumph. You will not reach even if we must push you out. Oh. Uh. Hey! Whoa. They're turning off the power. Flicking a switch isn't scary, guys. God damn it. Okay. Olivia, what? Hey, lady. I don't know what the oh. fuck you think you're doing here, but this ain't your house. Huh? Look, it's an ensign. What do those little triangles do again? They're keys. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Olivia, find, find, and signal. And we can shelter you. They're using you, clearly. Luna is speaking to us. Wait, Olivia. If you both want out, then go. Oh, man. Know my place in this universe. Wait, Olivia, stop! Oh, Get my Get God. Stop her. Get a radio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. Oh! Get the radio! Get the radio! Get the radio! Boy, let's move! No! Olivia, this is... You're crazy Violet, if you... Other way. way! Go Olivia. the other way! No, wait. Riley, she helped me. You... you... What? She talked to you before? Get the radio! Intended to listen to your prattle? Wake up! I've been your friend for 15... Violet, I went to the cliffs... This is not your race. Oh, not again. Ah. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, my God. This sucks. Can we stop this, please? I see the radio. It's over... Crap, it's Charlie! Riley! Can you get out of my way, please? I'm sorry, Olivia. Yeah, I'm going for it. Riley's been nicer to me than you have. <laughs> Riley's been nicer to Jesus. me. No! Away from her. Give that thing to me. Just shake off. Shake off? What is that? Oh, 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 oh! What the? Heck. Oh God. You will all be amazed by Luna's glory, maggots. Okay. Oh, just shut your trap. Change it back. It's it's it, it it's does, it's time to it stop. To. We are only custodians. It's time to stop. You're all so fortunate. You can't control this, Olivia. Not even a little bit. Oh, shut up. Oh my God. Where's the radio? Where's the radio? Go 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 go. Climb, climb. No! What in the world just happened? I, I need this to work. This, this, it's over. All of this is over. I need this to happen tonight. It's the blue moon. Okay, and? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's her parents. Shut up. Don't talk to them about it. It's, it's, it's none of their... It's nothing to do with them. What is this about your parents? Olivia? What do you want to know? That they died in a plane crash two years ago? You've been here, what, an hour? I'm sure you've heard the story by now. It's everyone's favorite to tell. The crazy lunatics who joined a cult and died, leaving their daughter to her aunt and uncle. Well, it's not a cult. It's a faith, and it's real. Tonight only proves it. I don't know if tonight really proves anything, Olivia. I don't know, man. I've seen some crazy crap. What is it exactly that you believe in, Olivia? I believe sometimes it's better to just stay. Just stay in a moment that you know won't last. But that you know is better than anything that will ever come after. Parentage believes that all time, all matter is constant and persistent. And you can... Talk to other times, other versions of you of loved ones. On certain days when the lunar veil is weak. Tonight's the blue moon. And if you give me back my radio, I'll be able to bring them back. That sounds crazy. To live in that memory of them forever. You almost got your friends killed to hang out with people who are already dead. Not exactly an even trade. Whatever. So what now? There are beings on the other side. You've seen them too. She's talking nonsense. I think they can help. Help you, help me. They tried to Everyone. kill us. Just give me back my radio. And I'll show you. 
It's not happening. No one will care when you die. Believe that. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. Oh man. One more thing. These beings. I think they're the ghosts of a World War II relic. What exactly have these things said? Leave is oh, okay. possible. I'm okay. Feeling. God, can't you just leave them alone? You know, I like you. I like you a lot, Riley. I really do. Oh I boy. Wish this didn't have to be so hard for you. This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it. I hate it. Nobody wants to see their friends possessed. Nobody wants to see them. I'm sorry, the night's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. Uh... My name's Alex. These are my friends. Wait, you're not? From the submarine? The, the Canaloa? No, but they're around. Some of them, anyway. What does that mean? It all been us. Just mostly. We were teenagers. Like Olivia and her friends. We went to Edwards Island... I don't know, years ago, months, weeks from now, it's hard to tell. It used to be a military base, but now it's... I got it, Ren. Thank you. Alex! That's the point. Ren? Now we can't get out. We can get out. We just need a little boost. I'm still unclear on how the whole thing will work. Well, Clarissa, you don't need to know how the Clarissa? whole thing will work. Clarissa? Um, what kind of boost? Riley, listen to me. You have been the arrow in my side for a while. Whenever we try to get out, whenever we get close, it's never quite worked. Never stuck. But this time it will. And do you know why? I've never tried it with Olivia. And she has a fire in her that will burn away every obstacle. You aren't the hero of this story, Riley. Remember that. And Olivia's not the hero here. She, she's a kid. As was I. Your plan with the transmitters? It's a good one. It is. It just might stop us. If that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, that, that, that was real, right? I was just, uh. They're teenagers. God. All this time, I thought it was the submarine. I thought, I thought that everything was just them. That they were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. Just kids. It, it, it's kids that go to Kimina High. I probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. If they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off. It just, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe any of this is really happening. What? You feel bad for them now? I feel differently about it now, I guess. Ultimately, we still have to do what we have to do. But uh, I feel less great about the whole thing. But what are they trying to do all, is the question. What, what is their okay, plan? Never mind. Garland, right? That's the last location. And where did the teenagers go? We should head out. Huh. I guess, I mean, at least Olivia doesn't have her radio anymore. It takes a wee bit of pressure off, but we still need to finish the transmitter array. I don't know. The whole thing's just like sketch, right? Because we have Alex and Ren, Jonas, Clarissa, Nona. They're trying. They're stuck on the island trying to escape, right? But why have they promised Olivia to be able to see her uh, parents we, sorry, in exchange? Could we just take a breather for a second here? Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, we earned it, I guess. Like they're they're. The whole way they're going about this is just... I don't know. Like, what are they going to do so with Olivia in them? just moon gazing and yoga mats. I That's suppose so. Them, I guess. They actually remind me of another group like them. The Migration? I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. But the actual act? The natural act? Migration. Pretty interesting. How baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch. And birds a will actually glitch. fly north, you know, instead of south. And the ones that do, they, you know, they hook up. And suddenly, we have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. Mm hmm Interesting. You know, I wonder about the other birds, the ones flying the natural way. 
when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around. I wonder you getting how many cold feet, Jacob? Different way. You getting cold feet on this operation? <sighs> you know, this reminds me of that story I told you. Oh. <gasps> the kids that sailed off to a faraway island, got caught, and then tricked the other kids into replacing them, and it was a cycle forever. I'm pregnant. Uh, beg pardon? I found out before I took the job. I'm two months. And your hearing is fine. That it is. Uh, congratulations? I'm sorry, is this a balloons and gay type of thing? Or, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me know there. Uh, sure, yeah, balloons. Balloons, thanks. Thank you. Uh, okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I, I had sense of security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm talking so much. So, I'm just gonna take one colossal, uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our, uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. Look, Jacob, I just needed to say it out loud. I haven't told anyone yet. You're technically not supposed to before three months, but whatever. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer, a boy or a girl? I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. <laughs> human. Look, if it's human, I don't know. <laughs> they can sort the rest of it. And uh, that's the uh, kid that. And if I'm prying, please say so. I'll just immediately stop talking. I was actually thinking Rex. A little boy named Rex? That sounds great. It will look awesome on a little league sheet. Why that one? I mean, don't get me wrong, cool name. Super <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. It's probably the closest I'll ever get to having one. <laughs> uh-huh. So, uh, bird's eye, how do you, you know, feel overall about it? I'm... Hopeful. I am. I should probably be worried, and, you know, That's part of me crazy. is very worried, incredibly worried, but hope is still winning. Well, it should stay that way. Uh, uh maybe this is weird, but, um, thanks for telling me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Is that weird? Look, I don't want to be treated differently, not even a little. Not even at all, promise. Boy, night of surprises. That was that was one big it's, bombshell. Uh, it's nice to have one that's different in a good way. Come on, one last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. So Alex is trying to get Olivia to replace her in the cycle, is she not? Is that what is that that's what Jacob said, right? Dude, this is such a morally conflicted story. I don't know if you can even have a good or a bad party now. Cause we played in the shoes of Alex. Riley? Riley, are you there? Over. Hey, yeah, I'm here. Hi. Over. Riley, hi. So also, I didn't Riley, didn't we take like freaking three falls from like 20 feet high already? This baby is I uh. the North Woods for a bit before heading back due to the weather. But when I made it back to the station, I had this message on my answering machine. Here, I'll play it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very funny comedian. I know funny. I am funny on speed dial. That was not funny. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One says to the other, does this taste funny to you? <laughs> Riley. Like, maybe one of those people you mentioned. Or if you've seen anybody else around. Hmm. I don't know, but I'll see what I can find out. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Call me if you need anything. Or, uh see anything over and out that sounds a little bit uh ominous i must say also there's something here hold up these feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts but okay maggie stray thoughts consider this an uh addendum uh, ad addendum addendum 
how do you say this? Uh, to our last conversation, I have no religion. I cannot say it is the pursuit of knowledge as I gave it, as I gave up the chase quite a while ago. My father was devout, my mother less so. I patterned after her. Faith in a system where I cannot see its purpose is hard for me. What is the purpose of chemical existence? I've never read a satisfactory answer. Mayum is the order in which the universe was founded, I think. The stories we take from that mayum are trying to line up events in a way that makes sense for our sanity. I am happy for anyone who finds peace in this ocean. So I am happy parentage gives you some peace. I am not exactly jealous, but perhaps I should be. Maggie. A A Adenum. Adenum. Yes. So Ingrid is the founder of parentage then, yeah? Interesting. Man. The more we play this, just the more the more questions that we have. And even after one thing gets revealed, it's just just more questions after that too. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's check in with Nick now though. See how the dude's doing on the ocean. Olivia will never forgive us, you know. How's that sit with you? Well, comfortably. Yeah, I'd love to join you at the booth, but uh for the rest of her life, when Olivia thinks of me, it'll ruin her day. I hate that. She's ruined our day okay. already. She wanted the radio so badly, she should have walled it to her hand. <laughs> so, let's take care of this last transmitter and never be forgiven. Oh. Comfortably. I should learn from you. 3 a.m. I might go from wondering just how many different lights can pop up on my dash to being scared of the power of a radio. That's, like, not a thing to be scared of. Uh, murders, bad test results. <laughs> so what is something to be scared of? What's your biggest fear? Distracting me from fear by asking about fear is, yeah, a choice. <laughs> you ever heard of an ant float? It's not a disaster. Ant float? Well, look that up sometime and enjoy having a new recurring nightmare. I'm scared of a radio. This is where my life. What do you say? Ant float? Huh? Oh, God. Actually, I have heard of this. What the? This is his biggest fear in life? What is an ant float? When flooding strikes, worker fire ants seek high ground and begin forming rafts through an instinctive linking of their legs. The fire ant version of holding hands. Good to know. Ants that find themselves below water ride air bubbles to the surface and join the raft, which launches as flood waters rise. It's called an ant raft. Well... Fun fact, I actually have heard of this before, but I don't know why it is his greatest fear, but... Add that to the list of things I'll never look at the same. I guess we'll find out. And I don't mean radios. I mean, well, fear? I think it'll feel a little different after tonight. Interesting. Sense. What was that? Let's just, let's get the transmitter placed. I can only eat so much panic. Okay, I'm trying. You need the right signal, though. Creepy. Okay, nothing here. It should start glowing. That's what we're looking for. Okay, nothing either. Mm, see anything? I'm not seeing anything here. Come on. Did I really miss it? I've I've scanned through a hundred already. Do I have to be closer? I'm like right on it now. Okay. Up with you. I think it means Katie doesn't even know she's dating you. Nothing to break if it's not a real thing. Huh? Okay, everybody. It's that sad time of the night. The Camina High School radio advice line is now closed. <laughs> okay. I hope you have well. some fun. Interesting. Where is the signal? Dude, there's actually nothing. What the heck? Is this a faulty radio? Oh, there. One. Oh, are you serious? Oh, my God. It took that long. You're joking. Well, you know, this is it. You know, mind that someone had to... Uh, invent the bridge like i know they happen naturally lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that but at least once at one point there was some guy looking at a river going hey wait a second we can just go over it wow real astute observation they, uh, they put this one up in the late 1800s good to know i guess that's why i'm thinking about it how people must have looked at it the bridge and for some people it was their only way to work mm -hmm. Maybe it was where they had their first kiss okay right? <laughs> first fist fight they proposed okay now that bridge doesn't mean anything i think you're thinking too much jacob it's just and I, talking too much you know, I, I don't know it just makes you think i don't want to live forever but i don't want to die forever either <laughs> you know what i mean 
Well, I don't want to be actual nothing, you know, but an eternal consciousness is just as scary. Sure, but it's unavoidable. Eventually, the universe will forget about Shakespeare. And if the bard ain't gone the distance, sorry, you ain't either. <laughs> Great. Let's upgrade the dread from mortal to existential. Oh, oh hey, boy. see that? Not the church, but the behind the church. It's part of the old mind system. We could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel, which, you know, big if. All right. Yep, I'm on board. Let's find the other end. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. All right, is the church open? No, it's not. Locked. Story of my life. Huh, okay. Well, less than ideal. <gasps> What's that? Come on, there's a way. There has to be. Or uh, we'll just keep saying that till we figure out there isn't. You see this? Sure. Some sort of wire. What is this? Uh, broken? Great I'm observation, not sir. Sure what it used to be, but that doesn't look functional. Wait, huh. it leads down here. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it uh, on or working at all? No, and no, and no. This thing is definitely busted. Wait, it leads like all the way down here. And what it's for. Whoa, there's like an entire ecosystem of houses here. It's like a like an old western style. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Oh. Howie. Howie who? How are we going to hide this dead body? Yeah, that was... Uh, okay. <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. It's a rift. The, never mind. Check it out. Another one. Okay. Last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside this one will be too. Maybe. Oh, this is probably our way into the cave system. Well. Only one way to find out. Uh, that seems out of place. This is some kind of equipment. I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it uh, on or working? Whatever it is? I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, oh, here we go. Whirring inside. Ooh. Ooh. What that cable Ooh. is connected to. Ooh. And what it's for. Ooh. Ooh. The rift. Oh. Oh, it was before oh, the 1320? What? Amazing. Riley, this is amazing. Look. Like, Mother Earth, man, she is no slouch. It smells a lot better, too. Yeah, I should have just left it alone. Oh, this is much better looking than any hardware store. Should we go down here? Oh, yeah. Store, sure, but I've seen some lookers. You'd be surprised. What are we looking for here? A way to get around the mining path, I guess? Or do we have to enter this tear? Uh, I guess we'll go down. Oh, we can't even do that. I guess we'll go here. Exit tear. Oh, that took us nowhere. Nice. Wait, what was the point of that? Oh, you think it used to be unblocked? Okay, I think I understand. But in order to do that, we might need to power this thing on. So let's follow the cable here. Why are there so many uh, wires, cords, cables, whatever, leading into that building? This isn't open still, right? Oh, no, no way. And they look good. Uh Fresh? Jesus. Oh! Ooh. What the? Hey, if you're in the post office and you're a human being, uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? Uh, uh hi. Y yes, I'm. I'm. What the? Human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. Uh, I don't I, uh, think so. <laughs> think we broke anything? Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took your picture. Oh, that's Assuming a little creepy. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Uh, well, aren't you the lucky one? I usually charge for headshots. Over. <laughs> that flash wasn't meant for you. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. I Around can time, imagine. I've set up a series of EMF boosters. EMF and boosters? Capture, well, let's call it evidence of this dude's them. looking for ghosts? <laughs> screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Uh, what's in it this for me? Sounds like it would really help you, but I don't know how it would really help me. It's a good deed for messing up the picture. Think of it as what? Now there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code. Dude, he's actually playing Faz. He has the camera set up. He's probably in the truck right now looking for ghost orbs. Oh my god. Oh, you have any trouble? See you in the open. 
bit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing. This guy. Says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Eh. You know, Hank seems like a. <laughs> I want to say a nice guy, but these EMF booster things. It's a fun pet project for him, but unless they're gonna help us plant this transmitter, I say let's ignore it and try the mines. Hmm. You know? I'm kind of well, interested, though. I don't though. know. We'll see. I don't want to dismiss anything that might be of use. No, no, no. I, I, I get that. I, I just don't see how this will be of use yet. Well, let's turn it on. Oh. What did that do? Uh, I think that came from outside. Oh, you think it adjusted the rift? A picture? I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. I hear something. Oh, it's so turning now. So we got uh, some numbers here. What? Or digits, I guess. <gasps> oh, oh, just yeah. It's turning the careful the rift, etc. You see that? Wait, we can control when we go through. Let's set it to eight. Look. Hey, things are uh, different. Wow. 1820. Th that, that must be what the boosters do. Here we go. Oh, man. Riley, check it out. I guess it used to be sort of a campsite before it was a town. And you think it's unblocked here now? And we can go up? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because we needed to go to the left. Oh, still blocked. Hmm. Maybe nine then? Okay, let's exit here. Yeah. Okay. We'll need to set this one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we know they're affecting the time tunnel, right? Nine? So, I think it's just a matter of getting the right time that the, uh, the cave's open. Okay, it should be this. Yeah, I think we're on the right track, at least. Let let's just keep trying. Okay, because I see the door. Ooh. Oh, here we go. My God. 1920. Good long look. I know we got a job to do, but like, this is unbelievable. And there's a bridge here now. Oh, like a postcard. Garland in its prime. Wasn't too shabby when she had uh, townsfolk. Oh, huh? it's still closed. It the abandonment all the more tragic. Yeah, it feels strange to see it up and running. Or running, in quotes. Mm. Let's look around. Hmm. Mine's closed off in this time period, but it had to be open at some point. Yeah, okay. This one won't help us, but we have to be able to get to a point when the mine was open. It was like this entire town's job for years. Yeah, let's keep trying. Wait, we just did eight, 1800. We just did 1900. I, I can't think of another time when the thing would be open, right? Like, look, it's just going back in time. You think if we do zero? <laughs> When's this going to dump us in? I look at this. It's the it's the 1020. You think they had a mine back in 1020? Ain't no way, right? Yes, yeah, this, this has to be closed. Try to switch the no other numbers around. I, I, I'm trying, but it won't let me change anything else. Unless I have to mess around with the EMF reader more. Let's see. Like, let's try going up to this one, maybe. Because it, it won't let me adjust the other numbers. Don't know what it's up with that. Okay, let's check in with Nick as well while we're Talk here. To me, Nick. Tell me you're safe. Hey, Riley. I'm safe. Ooh. Things have, uh, yeah, they've really settled out here. Good to know. It really seemed like it was something else. But yeah, smooth sailing now. Foggy, but smooth. You're disappointed about this? <laughs> Over? Well, I, uh, I guess I just thought... Every light is flipped on when you're a kid, you know? Mm-hmm. You want to do everything. Everything seems like everything. It's in front of you. The lights of possibility. What you're gonna do, gonna be, who you're gonna meet, one by one, those lights get flicked off. And the rest are so bright you don't notice the darkness in the distance. Uh huh. Until you do. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sometimes staring at calm water. <laughs> What's that expression? Getting old ain't for wimps. Nick? Oh. I need to focus up. It's still foggy out. Give me a call later. Over and out. All right. 
Andrew Rhines, postmaster, 1878 to 1903. 1878. Huh? Oh, right. First postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they'd hang a picture. 1878. Okay, that must be the date we have to go to. 1878. Teddy Roosevelt vibes. He looks more easygoing, though. But how, do, how are we going to get this thing to work here? 1878. I can only adjust this number here. Yeah, it doesn't let me go to the other ones. Okay, you know what? 18... Oh, you think they work one by one? So maybe this is the first one? So now we need to do the others. Probably should have tried this earlier. It makes sense, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, yep. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. 1870. And I guess this one goes off somewhere. Oh, it's broken though. Hmm. Can we repair it somehow, or you think we're just stuck here? I mean, at least we got 1870. That's got to be like the right time period, right? Hmm. Actually, I'm kind of curious about something. Almost all of these over here died in 1892. 1892. What if we? Go to 1892. What do you think would happen then? Ah, uh, okay, you know what? I want to try nine first. Let's try, let's try nine before we try eight. Because I want to see what happened in 1892. That's got to be some sort of clue, right? Something that'll help us understand what's happening here. So 1892. Let's see, let's see. And then is there one more that will let me control third? I don't think so. All right. Let's see what year we're in. 1890. Well, as close as we're going to get, I think. Hey. And it's open. Oh, awesome. Nice. It's, it's open, see? Oh, thank God. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, let's get inside. Get to the top. Let's go. I guess we're not going to find out then. Hmm. Would be interesting, though. They they had to have left that in there for a reason, though. 1892. And we exit here. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. This looks abandoned. This is a random question, but what made you move away? Hmm. From a Camina, I mean. Uh, just too many bad memories. Wasn't exactly the best of times here for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. <laughs> Good to know. Maybe because, as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want, but I don't want any bills to pay. <laughs> uh, I always felt older. So when I hit my 30s, I felt like that existential exhaustion finally caught up with my body. Existential exhaustion. about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. It must make me babble about all this stuff because I never left Camino. And sometimes I wonder if I should have. My life would be mm. really different. I wouldn't be here, for one thing. <laughs> Moving away doesn't make anything easier. Let me tell you from experience. Well, yeah, but it makes things different, which is something. True. All right, I think we are officially above the place we need to be, right? So let's go ahead and drop the transmitter off and see what happens oh, here. Oh, hey, I think, I think this is it. Great view. I'm going to move here right sad city great view well now all we have to do is plant the transmitter yeah you know what the top of the chapel is the better bet higher less obstructed let's do it let's do it climb time let's do it all right final transmitter what's gonna happen here 
Oh, we're going all the way oh. up. Whoa. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll feel it tomorrow when I can't get out of bed. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Huh? Uh... Uh, you mean the trees? No, not... I didn't smell it before, but that's rot. That's... Whew. Oh, that's bad wood rot. Uh, Is this thing gonna fall? Transmitter, uh, so we... ah! Oh! Jacob? Are you okay? Oh, oh! Oh. God. Jacob, can you... Can you hear me? Uh... Is the dude good? Um, what just happened? <laughs> oh, that's a long fall. Jacob? Jacob? Please, Wh say something. Make a noise. Wait, this is... This is far. Oh. Uh... I'm almost there, Jacob. Just, just hold on. Wait. Oh my God. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh. God, I, I can't see anything. Um. What? Are we supposed to be lighting these? Oh. <sighs> Wonderful. This is just full of wonder. Oh, you think there's a certain order we have to do it in? It's got to be that, right? Maybe this one? What is going on here, though? Okay. Uh, okay, that didn't work. And here we go, yet again. Oh, oh, you see this? I think this is what it means. So this, 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 right? It's, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the symbol up top. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Light it. So this one has to work because we tried the other two. Okay. Now we go up. But what's going to happen after this? This is a bit ominous. I can't lie. Perfect. Ah! Green girl. Green girl. Alex, is this is this you? No. Lie. Out. Out. Door. Impossible. So. Time. Alex, stay away from him. It was an accident. What are you doing, Alex? Alex, girl. Lost beach. Care, not dead. Boys. Oh. 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 Alex, stop already. What is this proving? Door open. Door black. Black. Time. Yeah. End. Holy hell, I cannot wait to be done with this. Jacob, are you okay? Is anything broken? Dude fell like a thousand feet, man. Okay, he's he's not good. What is this machine and Oh oh this thing again. Uh Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, God. Uh, uh, just, 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 just wait. Oh, boy. Oh, the board gave way, didn't it? Oh. How is he alive? <laughs> you, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm mm, fine. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. That was a long way down. Had her off a chair or something. Are you okay? Like, you look okay, but still checking. 
<laughs> uh, uh, you know, I kind of hate everything right now. Ah, so you're completely unharmed then. Gotcha. All right, man, let's get out of here. Albert would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. What's wrong she, with this uh, church? I always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Well, well let's uh, let's get out of here. I Just agree. That, please. Yeah, let's get back up and get that transmitter going. Oh, well, here we go. Oh my gosh. Woo! I thought they were really gonna kill him for a second. I'm surprised they didn't actually. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't, but it is what it is, right? Glad he's alive. Let's get this transmitter going. Yeah, the amount of falls we've taken is just absolutely insane. Okay, okay. okay. We're back. Let's plant this thing before anything else before a horde of gremlins drag us off into the night. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, let's do it. And after the transmitter's planted, that should be it, right? Here we go. The portal should close. Yep, here's hoping. All right, last one, last one. Let's see it. Whoa, jeez. And it's gone. Uh, did we do it? It seems better, right? Seems so. better. I think we did it. Yeah. I think, I think we really did it. I just, I, I, I can't believe it. Something about this just feels too easy. What is it supposed to feel like then? Why would Alex, why would she just, I don't know. If we beat them, it's not like they rolled over, but. They didn't roll over. We shut the door on their ghost asses. Look at the sky. You see any portals? Hear any weird voices? Feel any time distortions? Because I certainly don't. I guess not. No. Mm. Take the W. We won. Let's enjoy it. Little bit sus. Let's check in. Evelyn? God, probably like four in the morning. Mm. No one's responding. There's a lot of stuff to sort through. Like what to do about anything that's happened. But I don't know about you. I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks. See about getting you a hotel. Mm -hmm. Not for my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Not exactly. <laughs> Christine. Honestly, Jacob, I just need a damn couch. Hey, you can use mine. I just have to... I, I should clean the uh, cover, though, first. I accidentally spilled gasoline on the... Uh, oh, the yeah. uh, cushions. <laughs> never mind, never mind. That's, that, that's okay. I got a hotel through the school. If the walkie works, the phone might... I can call a ride. Sounds good. The town's mm. back this way. Let's get rambling. I don't believe it. Something, something feels off. I planted the last transmitter, Evelyn. You on the horn? Riley, can you hear me? I'm in the car. I finally got my car started. I'm, I'm on the road. Sorry I can't pick you up. If I get too close to the coastline, the battery starts to drain again. Still? Over? Oh, where are you going? Over. I left work and I'm heading to my partner's place. She's been home for a bit. Uh, my sister never called Riley, and I still can't get in contact with her. I took your advice and told my mom everything was fine. I don't really know if that was the right thing to do. But I'm just, I can't be at work anymore. Because it's just work. That's what it is. Work. And that's true. And my family's my life. a big part of that thanks for the readings Riley I mean it this information will help so much if anything like this ever happens in the future but right now I just have to I just want to be home and wait by the phone if that makes sense over no I, I totally understand Evelyn be with your family over thanks all right what now though if you still need anything feel free to call I'll be on the line just in case See you later, Jacob. Hope you find your doggy. Oh yeah, we never find his dog. Take care. And good luck. Over and out. Alright, well. What about Nick? You back home, Nick? Riley. There's something here. In front of me. Oh. Monka? Monka? <laughs> it's like the sky is bisected. 
door folded into itself. It's like... It's like a door. Only not your handle and deadbolt oh. variety. It's... This is something else. Some sort of... Electricity? Or something... Close to it. So you're saying you didn't make it back home? Over. I didn't. No. I could... Sail past the door. Or whatever this thing is. But it's daylight on the other side. And it's stars. I think. And some things I couldn't properly describe. Huh? Huh? Wait, so... So what now? So, either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or that is a phone ringing, uh, somewhere. Wait, what? We don't get to- we don't get to- Okay. Okay. Is it a major bingo square? A pay phone ringing in the wild? I should go inside and buy a lottery ticket. Oh, d dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello? Concern? Shelly? Alarm? What cause for alarm? What concern? Not to. Cabin. More. My own. And more. Huh? My love. Sister. Wait, are you, are, are you saying the park ranger and you are related, or... John Gerald Shelley. Hmm. That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It sounded like, at least. Why? Call her on the walkie. Let her know what happened. Yeah. No, I, I think that's a good idea. Is she okay? I think yours is the stronger connection. So, whenever you want. Ranger Shelly, it's Riley. Over. Riley, hey. Okay. Did you find out anything about that answering machine message I got? Over. But long story shrunk. We got a weird phone call, and uh, we got some sort of a warning, and I think it was directed at you. So, maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night. Over. Well, crud. You said I shouldn't leave the station anymore? I was just about to... About to what? I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Do you... Do, do you not think I should go? I sound stupid just asking, but... I don't know. Don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's not worth the risk. I'd listen to it. Over. But a distress oh, call. Sure, sure, fine, fine. I'm Should we go? I can radio in some support from other stations. See if they can cover. Uh, I hope this isn't some... I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley. Radio if you need anything. And thanks for this. Over and out. Okay. Save Shelly. Wait, what did this say? Hank wants us to use his booster... Boaster to take a picture of something. Don't know what that means, but okay. Um, okay, you know what? Let's check back in with Nick again. You back home, Nick? Riley. Okay, we're There's going through this dialogue here. again. <laughs> in front of me, it's like the sky is bisected or folded into itself. Do we ever figure out what gets to the end of this? <laughs> Does he never finish his dialogue or? I guess not. 4 a.m. Okay, here we are. Home sweet something. There's a phone in the general store. Maybe one more break in for old time's sake, just to call you a ride. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd give you a lift, but it's a five minute walk and my truck is still dead. So if I don't see you. Uh oh. Uh, wait. Hmm. Uh, Jacob, what's going on? What was on? that? 
Oh, where's he going? Jacob? Where is he going? Jacob! Jacob! Oh, boy. Jacob! Hey, what are you doing, man? Uh-oh. Did you get a little, uh, deja vu just now? Um, wait, w was that? Oranges and lemons. Okay. Say the bells of St. Clements. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. And here comes a chopper to chop off your head. What's... what's going on? I thought the transmitter should have... Oh, that late, I... <laughs> Oh. 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 Ah. This is better. Hey. Whoa. It, Alex. Is this, it's. What's. The night's frequencies have bled enough that I can be for spurts at a time. But look, this isn't what I'm here for. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. Them? The crew of the USS Canaloa. They've been using the half open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. Okay. I told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the sunken are taking advantage of. The sunken? Those people that first got trapped between more? time? How are they back? What do they want? What anyone wants, what anything wants, what I wanted. To live, Riley. To come back to our timeline no matter what it breaks. And no matter who they have to take over to make it happen. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. What does a clean swap even mean, though? Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. You and Jacob. All right, well, you're helping us. I don't know how or, you know, but you need to help. Of course, Riley. I can't let Olivia do this. Okay, we're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it was just... Wait, what happened? Was Alex here? She, 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 was, she was here, and then she said the, the sunken are coming back? Is that... I didn't dream that yesterday and I'm only just remembering it now. Oh, right. Alex boy, had more, more bad news and a night already filled to overflowing. We need to get to Edwards Island and stop Olivia from opening another portal. We were so very close to being in our own respective beds. So close. So close. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <sighs> now what? Oh my god. Uh we have to find a boat? Something Is that a boat? Me we need a boat? Is that right? It's a, I'm still a little foggy. So, uh, that doesn't leave a lot of options. Oh my god. You wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? <sighs> I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're going to go about it. Uh, that means we're stealing one, right? Yeah, but if we just don't put it like that, then it's not illegal. <laughs> what if we ask Nick? There's always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the... Hmm. She was still trying to experiment with this stuff, even then. Interesting. Time. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened tonight. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So, anything you want to do before it's done, better do it now. Oh. Okay, let's see who bought the cheapest lock. You back home, Nick? Alright, let's see. Riley, <laughs> oh my god, not this dialogue for the third time, bro. In front of me. It's like the sky is bisected. Or folded into itself. Alright. It's like... It's like a door. Only not your handle and deadbolt variety. Guess we'll listen him out this time. This is something else. Some sort of electricity? Or something close to it. So you're saying you didn't make it back home? Over. I didn't. No. I could sail past the door. Or whatever this thing is. Uh-huh. But it's daylight on the other side. And stars. 
I think. Uh huh. And some things I couldn't properly describe. Uh huh. It's it's not quite wide enough for me to slip through. But my God. Uh huh. It really is very beautiful. Look, Nick. Odds are you've got some sort of radio equipment. I'm I guess we're telling we go through. <laughs> Just turn that on and tune. Eventually, you'll see what's on the other side, and whether or not you want to step through. Roger that. Riley is this. Is this what? I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Well, okay, so here's not exactly chock a block, but one of these should do. Uh, which boat should we take? Wow, should we take this giant ferry or? <laughs> this looks, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it would get us there fast, but the controls look pretty advanced. Do you know how to drive it? Uh, nope. I'd be worried about crashing into high water rocks. Let's find something simpler. <laughs> I guess this is it. <laughs> a small boat. This looks fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a bait shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test. New I guess products. we're stealing her boat. <laughs> so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. <laughs> wow. Kamina is just thrill a minute, huh? Live slow, <laughs> die old. That's the Kamina way. All right. Well, it's padlocked to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No, it's exactly right. she can steal leeches and wheelworms, so. Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. Alright, code for the lock and key for the boat. Code for the lock and key for the boat. And it's unlocked, wow. I knew it. No one secures their damn doors in this town. Tomorrow I'm convincing Ava to buy a padlock. Alright. I'll stay out here and keep watch. If we're in trouble, I'll uh, whistle or something. <laughs> yeah, well, you go ahead and whistle, man. There's the key. Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? <laughs> eh, whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think all that leaves is the code for the lock so I can untie the boat. All right. Aw, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Uh, any code here? Any code? Calendar? 7-Eleven is highlighted. Huh, okay. Is that the code? M-B? Seven? Wait, M-B. Marco's birthday? 7-Eleven? At least you remember to lock this. Oh, sail on night crawlers. And me without my checkbook. 315 is pretty good, right? I have no idea what I'm saying. Seven? You, you think that... Wait, I thought it was a four-digit code. <laughs> Are we going to close the door or nah? Well, should have locked to Ava. I guess the code maybe is 7-Eleven? Unless it's a four-digit code. Did, did you hear that? Huh? 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 I hear that. Athena? <gasps> Athena! The dog! Oh, Athena! Did you freaking knucklehead? Oh, I'm gonna kill you. The dog! Oh my god, I was so worried. Oh, thank god. I kept thinking... <laughs> oh, I don't want to say what I was thinking. She seems alright. Where do you think she was? Well, if her breath was any indication. The uh, dumpster outside Seafood Sammy's. <laughs> oh my god. I'll take a night of lobster farts if that means this little dingus is back home. <laughs> oh my lord. You know how many oh. TV remotes this mud has obliterated? Oh, uh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell. A very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. <laughs> no more running off. Okay, seriously, this this is sweet. Maybe too sweet. Oh, for sure. But like, <laughs> I needed this real bad. All right, don't we got like an oh, island man, to is... save or something though? Sorry, I'm uh, not usually like this, you know. But uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know. She's my home. It's just, it's oh. nice to feel relieved for once. Okay, all right, settle down, man. She's back. She's safe. You're all right. All right, come on, girl. Oh, are you taking her back or what's going on? <laughs> Am I selling there alone? I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Oh, he's tired. Okay, My nice. Good girl, stay here. Sound good? Speak. Sounds Speak. Good. <laughs> I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something 
important. And uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. So That's a little uh, they all know you. Grim. <laughs> You'll be okay. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. We still haven't found Evelyn's sister, though. I think you know the code. Uh, seven one one. Seven one. One. Nice. Hey, nice work. Okie doke. After you, ladies first. Age <laughs> before. Ooh. Um. Yeah. After you. Uh. Good to know. How do I get in? Uh. Hey, come on. Get on. Is there a problem? Jacob, I really. I think you should stay here. What? Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. What? <laughs> Riley. What are you doing? Wait, why? Why wouldn't I go? You've already... Jacob, you've already helped me more than you know. You're a good dude and a good dog owner and, like, this thing is a mess. A real... I don't know why I chose that. Mess, and that's meant for... But I don't know why you gave me the option to do that. Genuine messes. Okay? <laughs> no! Not okay! I do not accept that! Just get on the boat. This is stupid. <sighs> You're not gonna die, are you? Because if you die, I am not going to be a happy environmental researcher. We'll be okay. It's going to work out. Don't worry. Okay. Nice. We're in the boat. Here we go. I don't know why. It, it, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly don't know why I chose that. I was just like, why is that even an option? I thought we were going to go to the island. But, uh oh. Guess we're going. There, There's, there's that. Have pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. Nice. It has a the Isle of Lucy baby on the cover. For months it was my only goal to get it. Nice. Are we slowing down? This because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm going to do in my life. <laughs> okay. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Yeah, you're probably right, but like this is pretty impressive stuff. Sure, it's impressive. Peak but existence. It gets old being a fix it man. Your job is to look at something broken. Just a lifetime of staring at failure. And hopefully fixing it, but often not. There's honor in fixing things for people. You could say that's a noble profession. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's complicated. Complicated. It's just this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix-it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix-it job still. <laughs> I don't know. This would have been nice if the number one spot was taken by something I created. Mm. Maybe that's selfish? I don't know. No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we'd I all guess. like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. If we remembered at all. Well, you're a cheery fellow. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. Best As he of luck, man. Away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp. Jacob Summers decided he had fixed enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. Nice. <laughs> How stupid does that sound, right? In an authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest <laughs> Riley Poverly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. <laughs> Thanks. This is a sure you very far other island. Other things on your mind besides all this. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first. <laughs> nice. For luck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, For I guess. <laughs> Whatever that means. And to Edwards Island we go. Oh, man. How long has it been since we've been back here? Holy moly. And the game just ends here. That would be crazy. 
Thankfully not, though. I hope. Huh. I don't see Olivia's boat. Actually, yeah, why am I surprised by that? You probably just ran the thing aground somewhere and hobbled out. Maybe we'll have some time to catch up to her. Come on. Is she even here, though? What if this is a drive. trap? It's been a while. Did you come here often? When you were younger, I mean? Oh, sure. During the summer, all the time. Wasn't really a family tradition, but something my brother and I would do when we got bored. I think I remember how to get to the old communications tower. This place is, like, Richard run Hardin down. Big Hardin? <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see. Yeah, this thing is, like, super run down. It did not yeah, look this like place. this last time Even we were like here. Ten years ago. This was like it, you know? Yeah, you come here on the weekends, just run around, get lost in the woods, sneak off, smoke, drink, take the ferry back at sunset. Tell your parents half of what happened. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, well, uh, that was a long time ago. Edwards Island has been a relic for a while. Just let it sink. I'm sure it will one day. So you think we're going to find Alex here, too? That would be... Oh. Oh, man. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. It's... Yeah, everything's unstable. I, I didn't expect everything to be this bad. I don't know why I have the nerve to expect anything anymore. Oh! Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um... What's the, like, thing to do here? It's the scene from the first game. Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. I don't know if they can, like, see us, but... Fire! Oh. Man's great equalizer. Hey, wait, Alex. We're, we're still just, like, getting our feet wet here. So what is Alex. What's the, like... Don't worry. They don't know you're here. Oh. They're echoes stuck between time my friends and me olivia's opening the portal already or will or has the, the timelines are converging trying to get us there but the jumps are erratic we'll glitch again soon just wait a second i don't understand what happened to you we just got stuck like the crewmen of the canaloa like maggie was in her own way so the cave what's your bets on a scale of one to ten how weird's it gonna be Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why, why didn't I just... Why didn't I drown instead of my brother? Alex, that's not the answer and you know it. You're not what went wrong. A military test went wrong and you got caught in it. So did you. I've been thinking, in all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, oh. you never came here. You never came to the island. This has happened I, before? I don't know what that means. Oh, wait. I... We're going to see Olivia now. Oh, no, boy. this looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. So we are part of this time loop. We're part of we've done this before. So it'll slow her down a little, but not enough. Oh boy. Watch it! Go, 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 go! We're running out of time, kids! Oh man, Christ, thank God I didn't bring Athena. Yeah, man. I'll think about it. Oh my god. We have to hurry. Oh, that is a giant portal. Oh, oh God. God, what is she doing? No, it shouldn't be this. What is she doing? What is she doing? Stay there. Don't come near me. Yeah. Done. You're Olivia, too late. Stop. Olivia. I, I know what you think is going to happen, but it won't. Not like this. You quit. You said. You said you could. Oh. oh God, are we too late? Oh. oh, 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 oh. Anything different than what you and all of your infantile yearning try. I know. I, I want it out. 
Hey, let Olivia go! What, you you want to be a sad teenager for the rest we of your all life? Before. We can be again. We can wait and pine and grow and strive. Stop! You you aren't this! Henry Griffin! Kelvin Gilbert! Men! Women of the Canaloa! I know you're you have children of your You're not our old salt and never will be again! Now we are Olivia. Now we are Riley. Oh, Riley, you Home? Everything. Oh. Oh, man. Where am I? That's not good. That is really not good. Um. Nice. Yes. Do I go this way? I have to figure out how to get out of here. I'm still myself. Or m myself enough. You think we go to the left? Because that's where I like heard her voice. Come on, it's not over yet. How do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? Maybe this way? Doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, no, it's a dead end. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go here. We gotta go. How do we get out? How do we get out? How do we get out? Please, I can't get the worst ending again. <laughs> Not again. Please let this one have a better end. Oh my god. Lamps. What is what does this mean? Lamps. Lamps. Can I tune them? No. Walkie-talkie doesn't work. Windows, I think. Are these windows? Okay. Seven, eight windows. Seven plus one windows. What else is there? And nothing. Oh, a lamp. And the television. And sit. Sleepy time, gal. Oh no, that's not good. No. Get up. No, get up. Get up. Get up. Why did we sit? Oh is this boy. The home you're trying to get back to? What is there to escape to? Uh oh. I'm trying. I'm oh, here we go. We can tune. We can tune something. Alex! Alex, are you Are you here? Oh, crap. Wait, 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 wait. This light is a little... Is there like a, like a hum to it? We can tune Radio's something. It's buzzing a bit. Wait, we can tune our way out of here. If I could just find the right frequency. Come on, where is it? Where is it? There it is! Oh! The comm tower. But it's daylight. I'm at the comm tower again? Adler! Over. Maggie Adler! She's here! Yes. The array's up. No damage we could see. I'm on my lunch break, okay? Talk to Colonel Shear if this is important. I'm... I'm sorry, but are you Maggie Adler? This is... Am I in Fort Milner? Fort Milner? No. I don't believe you are. I don't believe I'm the Maggie Adler my mother once knew. Oh. But don't worry. You'll be gone soon anyway. Huh? Just like me. If you're not Maggie, who are you then? A figment. A comic strip thought balloon. A particle of someone you think you know. The dead don't change. They can't. Just like you and me. I'll always be here. 
and you'll always be in your little apartment wishing things were different. Okay. You're wrong. I, You're wrong. I know I can get back. I can fight them. Fight this. I can fight it. Like how I fought? Against the eclipse? Against death? Nothing fights like time, child. And the sunkener is time itself. Stop fighting. Your grist for souls wounds your sunburnt stomach. Oh my god. Okay. No. No. Get the hell out of here. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gone yet. Not completely. Just oh, keep moving. It just didn't work out, okay? Here we go. Another one. Here we go. It's off. Yeah, that's enough of that. Here we go. Yep. And the last one. Here we go. Turn it off. Oh, what did that do? Hey, anyone know this girl? Wait, it's back in the memory. No, I'm sick of dealing with her crap. Just trying to have a drink. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, here we can tune this. I need to find a way out of here. A uh, hundred, maybe. Here. Oh, what's this? Uh, on the beach. Oh, where the hell am I this time? Oh, here. It's the dock. Isn't this... Is that Nick? Wait... Hello? <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. You show up, fish clear out. Not like you should expect this to go any better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just bad luck. What, uh... What... Bait are you using? Uh, a worm and a prayer. That's what I'm using. They didn't have a bunch of uh, fitty bits of plastic in the Dark Ages, so why should I, right? You said something like that once. Huh? <gasps> I said something like that? You recognize me, right? I know it's you, Rex. Yeah, I know. Rex! You're a long way from home, Riley. You've been a long way from home for a while now, to tell you the truth. And I know you wanted to change some things when you heard I was coming. Get your life in order. You know, exercise five days a week, stuff like that. How's it going so far? Making your bed every day? <laughs> uh, I think you can tell how it's going, Rex. I'm getting taken over by vengeful spirits just because I answered an ad for a job. It's going to complete crap, like most things I try to do. Like most things you try to do. Yeah. Here's the thing about that. I'm one of those things. And I think I turned out pretty okay. <sighs> sorry. I... I'm sorry. Riley, I know you think you effed up here, and that you failed, and that the whole town is going to get eaten by ghosts, but you haven't yet. They haven't yet. But they will unless you snap the hell out of it right now. For my sake. How? You don't think I'm trying? I'm stuck here. You've been stuck before. You've been stuck for years. Mom, I think you've let a lot of anger keep you stapled to the carpet. You used to say you can't punch every problem. But hey, at least punching is trying something. <laughs> Look, the sunken and Alex and all of her friends have been in a void just like you. Unlike you, though, they want to get out of it. How many years did you drain away on the couch, in bars, doing nothing, wanting nothing, wanting to shrivel into dirt, crumble to dust? You have no idea how hard I've tried to change for you. 
The instant the little stick thing turned blue, the instant I knew you were on your way, the second I knew I had to live up to, to, to you, to be something for you. Yeah, Mom. You looked in the want ads and sublet your apartment. I know. You tell me often. And don't say... I know you like to be stoic. You shouldn't just be grateful for... for the crumbs. You can have more. You should want more. So this is the opposite of what you're going to try and teach me, by the way. <laughs> but you'll always have a saying for everything. Hey, you said yourself you turned out okay. That's... that must mean something. I did, but you're missing the point. <sighs> I'm fishing, see? Fishing, that's because of you. I cook my eggs how I do because you cook your eggs that way. I wear jackets all the time, even when I'm dying of heat. I don't floss. I buy too many socks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all the utterly horrible guidance made me who I am today, and I like who I am. Sounds like he's missing a couple but teeth. You just don't take your own damn advice, Mom. You never knew. You never did. So, I'm here now to make you take your own advice. Do something. Be something. Just make a choice and stick with it. Even if that choice doesn't take you exactly where you expected it to. How, Rex? How exactly am I supposed to do that here? It's easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's easy to start. Admit to yourself, to me, to the void, that eternity doing nothing isn't for you. Wait, so I just say this and no, I... No, Riley, you have to say it. And mean it. It's... Not what I want. It's not enough. And what do you really want? I want to just do something that matters. I need to do something that matters. Uh, yes. Oh. Yes, you do. Something but changed. I think this is my stop. Oh. I never did get used to goodbyes, but this isn't one. Not really. Oh, and I'll see you at Christmas. I pop out a little early. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Riley, Riley, can you hear me? Oh, oh. Riley. Jacob, I, I, I'm back. I, I can't believe it. It worked. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, God. Miss, uh, I, I don't know, Riley. This doesn't... Tune into the portal, Riley. Tune into it. We give us. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, one second. Uh, uh to them, Riley. You can still get out of here. Uh, we uh it's not working. I'm trying. I'm using it. What is the signal? What is the signal? Where is it? There it is. 80. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. You're almost there. Leave. Uh. Uh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. There. Oh. Oh, that's two. Oh, whoa, 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 what is? Okay, am I doing what I should be doing? Yes, just, just keep on it. Okay. It's down. Is Olivia okay? She don't sound good, bro. <laughs> she don't sound too good. There. Last one. More? We we rise. I just damn it. I just No no keep it. Keep there, it there, there. Oh, oh. Oh wow. That is that's different. Oh, 
Reef Cream Oil presents the... Uh, Riley? Oh, evil submarine What's... sank in the... Ah. Uh. Save our souls. Oh. <sighs> uh, Alex, is this a good thing that's happening right now? I think, yes, I think this is it. You think? <laughs> what is? Uh, what's it? <gasps> oh, oh, hello. Nice to you? see you. <sighs> oh my god, Olivia, are you... Is she okay? I'm still here. Yeah, you are. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me. You quit! You okay. Have everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan. The Canaloa crewmen would have. I know! I know! I thought they would help me. I know what you wanted, Olivia. I understand. But you just can't cheat death like this. I'm sorry. Whatever. We're not done yet. We're still between things. Oh, there's more. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want, but. Someone still has to lock it from the other side. I did it myself many years ago. It's how I got stuck. How my friends and I got stuck. So, are you like free now or something? Not so fast. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close and consume us all. How do you know that? What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal must remain in the portal. Wait, there's absolutely no other way? Someone has to be on the other side to do it? On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces. Because of how the sunken and me and my friends entered, we didn't have the choice. We became stuck in the moment of our accident. But it can be a gift. Olivia, you can be with your parents again. Oh, whoa. Forever. But it's not real. It was real. But you'd also be trapped in that space of time. She's trying to get Olivia? Like you are. I understand this isn't for everyone. But I have a feeling it's for someone. And Riley, you should know because it matters for this. <laughs> she just nominated her, bro. It doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of you while well, waiting and looking, and you guys are going to have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? What are you even talking about? Like me and my dad. Yeah, like you and your dad. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built the antenna, me. Charlie just knew where to get the parts. And she almost ruined everything. Olivia. And yet, you beseech her like she's some prophet. I am going in that portal, ghost. It's not up to her. It's not up to you anymore, either. I think circumstances beg to differ. Olivia, nothing can bring your parents back. Not this thing, not anything. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry, I know you are, but... My parents. You have no idea what they meant to me. And I am not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But maybe that was just mania acting for me. No, you didn't talk yourself into this. What do you mean her future's cloudy? Honestly, Riley, I can't put it any other way. 
Well, it's Riley's decision who goes in. Why? She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. So do we Riley, go? <laughs> you have a kid on the way. You really want to be stuck in a past moment forever? I want this! Quiet. Let her think. Oh, what? What are we Riley, supposed to just do? Give me the radio, okay? Just give me the radio and walk away. Done. Olivia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know I did this. I caused all of this. But it's... This isn't what you think. I'm not too young. I'm not too... What the? You think we're just gonna make Jacob go instead? I know what I want. What I want, what I need, is to be with them. They used to tell me at night when I went to bed. We loved each other more than all the stars in the universe. More than the moon herself. And I can just choose him? Whatever we call real. I just want to go home. Just... Just think about it, please. What if I choose Jacob? That's kind of messed up, right? I don't know! I don't know! What do I do? What do I do? Ah! Dude, I don't know. I don't know what to do. 1 through 33, Jacob. 34 to 66, Riley. And 67 to 100, Olivia. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Let's just let's just hear. I love you. You, you can go, Olivia. Goodbye. You're really letting me go. I guess she is. He sounds kind of sad. Why? Do you want to? Maybe she saw in you what I saw in you. Olivia, who am I to stop you? Honestly, if you want to do this, if you really want to do this, go ahead. But does she? Olivia, tune the portal closed. When I'm going to see my mom and dad again. I, I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. I did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. Just be a good mom. To your son. Don't worry about it, Olivia. We'll be okay. Oh. Riley, are you there? Wait, 7 a.m.? Come in, Riley. Over. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey, there you are. This is just the next day check-in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem perfect. Negligible scratch. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the... Uh, Wait. Our environmental research staff is going to be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. Cuckoos? The bird calls are perfect. Not a lot of interference. Cuckoos? Huh? That's what the study is for. Cuckoos are endangered in Oregon, and this will help track migratory patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully get them off the endangered list. But, Evelyn, huh? don't, don't you don't you remember, like, everything that happened last night? The... The, the ghosts, the teenagers, the dead ones, portals, just everything. Uh, no, I don't remember you telling me anything about ghosts or dead teenagers, no. After you went off to study cuckoos, I went home and had dinner with my sister. Maybe you told Leslie and you're confusing us? Did something happen? Uh, the, the, uh Oh, wait, sorry, Riley, uh, 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 before what? you get into it. 
Sorry, really quick. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door. If you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. <laughs> and it'd be the same deal, basically. Just planting test equipment. Uh, yeah. Maybe, I'll, um, <gasps> Cl Clarissa, think Clarissa! Ah, uh, ho, ho, okay. ho, ho, ho! Give it a think. Sounds good. Well, thanks for everything, Riley. I think you can pick up your check at the campus admissions office. Alan! Where are yeah, you Yeah, Evelyn, I'll, um, I'll pick it up later. Give me a second. Okay, sounds good. Take care, Riley. Over and out. The first thing I heard this morning was my mom calling up to me from the kitchen to take out the trash. I slept in a little, I guess. Do you hate me? No, I... I don't hate you. You can. I'm not your kid. But... Thank you. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. Things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. All the people of Kamina? None of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here, thinking about Olivia. I can't help but feel sad for her. I know it was her decision, but... It still feels like giving up. Giving up? If you give up something that holds no meaning to you anymore... No, I won't say that. But I will say she seemed content, and I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm uh, taking AP English this year. When we went in, I was working on a paper on Dickinson. She said she, um, she never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Bye, Alex. Watch out for any, well, for anything, really, okay? It was a lot of work to get you here. I'll be good. All right, I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex. Yeah, 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 I just had to- Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Ugh, huh? I'll tell you about it later. Only you would have a mom friend, Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. Now what? What? What do I do now? <laughs> Athena? Hey, Athena! How are you, girl? <laughs> hey, where are you going? <gasps> I think she likes you. She's not usually this friendly. Jacob! Hey, you, uh, know me, right? Yeah, from Kamina High? I'm kidding. Yeah, I remember. I know what happened. What we did. Oh, I'm <laughs> still a little shaky, to say the least. Okay. <laughs> I, I woke up in bed. Just a normal Saturday, right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh, phew, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I'd ever see you again. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to disappoint. I can pretend I don't know you. No, no, I'm I'm glad to see you. I was just... Two minutes ago, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Oh, this is Athena's time to do her uh, business. We, we call it business time. I uh, need to apologize for not offering myself to the portal. <laughs> I wouldn't have even said anything, but I knew it was always going to be Olivia. She just needed it. For her, this was never going to end. No need to apologize, Jacob. I understand. Nobody, not even Olivia, wants that. And besides, it wasn't your responsibility to have to do that. It shouldn't have been anyone's. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't know if I fully believe you, but um, 
Thanks. So, I think you should call your dad and tell him you're going to be a mom. And why that's a good thing. Pretty soon, anyway. It's true. He is going to have another branch in the family tree. Y you know, we make these little people, and those little people grow up into big people. Uh -huh. And along the way, we change. We lose things. We gain things. We form opinions. We have regrets. And we, we, we take all of that stuff and go on making more little people. Okay. <laughs> Time travel really isn't anything compared to all that, is it? Nope, not really. This is really awkward. The other night I had a dream. I was talking to my grandmother about something, I don't know. But we were watching TV, her old black and white in her living room. It was just white noise. And she said something to me about waves, about the ocean, how it was eternal, like time itself. And when I woke up, I felt comforted by that. I think that's all you can do in the face of it, be comforted. Or... If you're listening to this, my name is Alex, but that doesn't matter much. You don't know me. You've never heard of me. You never will. But I know Riley, and she's a unique person. I'm sure you know that, too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently. And the only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. Who am I? A, c a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture of just who Riley is and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. <sighs> I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and, um, thank you. Whoa, whoa. It's the masks? How do you even see out of this? This is only- this is one eye socket. Actually, wait, this is no eye sockets. What the- <laughs> A patch? You and 95% of players saved Shelly's lives. Thanks for the interesting night you earned this from Shelly. So what would have happened if we let her go out there? You and 39% of players became friends uh, with Violet yeah, and Charlie, but had Olivia enter yeah, the portal. Me too. What, uh, what do you think about? Oh, just everything, I guess. Was that a good thing that Riley let her go? If she's happy where she is? If she's even anywhere? Riley says she's probably happy. She saw memories of Olivia when everything was going on. She says she picked her for a reason, that she deserved to go. I'm just glad Riley was there, so she wasn't alone. <sighs> yeah, me too. Hmm. Well, can you talk a little bit more about your gallery, the Sasquatch? Sure. It used to be just my home office, really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. A friend of mine, Riley, really pushed me to do it. Her son, Rex, is a smart critic. <laughs> Brutal, but smart. I've started to become known around town as more than just the local weirdo. <laughs> which, which, which is a plus. <laughs> I'd lived my life a certain way up until this point. <laughs> Pretty closed off, anxious. And, I don't know, life's just too short, right? 59% of players befriended Jacob and brought him to Edwards Island. Damn, so there's people who didn't befriend Jacob. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm, recorder. <laughs> Dad? We can go to the park later! <laughs> Damn. 
nearly three-fourths of the players who play this game made Olivia go in the portal. And I'm assuming this is Riley. Wait, hopeless case? What does that mean? A tremendous thing. So maybe 23% chose to go in themselves and then 3% sent in Jacob? <laughs> Damn. That's wild. Radio. It's a flyer. Uh, oh, Jacob became an artist. He's a Kamina artist, Jacob Summers. A dog tag. 42% of players had Nick enter the portal. It's a little bit sad, but I don't know. I feel like just from what we got from the dialogue throughout the entire thing, I don't know. He he seems like he always wanted to do something more and explore more out there. So I don't know. I think we made the right choice. 66% of players helped Evelyn return home. The map. mom is a complicated person like all of us like everybody i used to really not appreciate my stepfather and there was a time that i hated even the concept of having a stepbrother relationships are hard even the ones that are supposed to be easy supposed to be ingrained i don't really know what i expect you to do with all this but just know that your mom isn't just your mom She's not just the person who you maybe think failed you. She's a person that has a life, and that life has a lot of branches to it. And she cares about you, Rex. You were the future she didn't want to lose. And no matter what you think of her, remember that. All right, I think that's it. Oh, and the... stay off the radio. What a game. I think just right off the bat, I do have to say, honestly, very strong candidate for a 10. This is just with Oxenfree 1 and 2 together. It, it was just, it was really so well done. I know we were sponsored to play this at least for two hours uh, last week, but uh, regardless of that sponsor, like just in my own gen like genuine opinion, this is a really well-made game. Now there's like a lot of things that I do wish, you know, we would be able to do, for example, in the first game, wish you could, you know, tone the settings around, maybe lower the volume of the dialogue a little bit. And in the second game, uh, I guess my only real complaint is that I wish that we knew more, right? And the thing about the game is because it's open world, well, not really open world, but it's in a way open world as well as it lets you choose your own path, choose your own dialogue, make your own choices that you're never going to get to the end of everything. You're never going to know everything about the game because it doesn't make you, you know, it doesn't force feed you this exposition. It doesn't force feed you this dialogue in order to complete the game. It doesn't like force feed you the context. That's up to you as the player uh, in order to go find that out for yourself and be able to unravel the mysteries of Edward Islands as well as Kamina. And honestly, you know, there's a lot of things that we still don't know about the game. And in part, that's because, well, perhaps we didn't read all of the dialogue or all of the text around the place. Uh, we didn't read everything. We didn't go looking for all the letters. We didn't, you know, find all the backstories. But I think that's also what makes this game like so unique because everyone can have a different experience playing this game. Like all the little choices that you make starting from the minute that you load in, every single dialogue that you click will like 
change the outcome in some minuscule way. And even if it doesn't change the ending that you get, it changes your understanding of the game, which I think is just honestly a beautiful way to go about a game. So oxen free, strong candidate for a 10. I'd probably rate this 9.5. No game is going to be perfect, but this was one hell of an interesting and very, very good game. So if you are watching this on YouTube, I do hope you enjoy the playthrough of Oxen Free as well as Oxen Free 2. Uh, of course, I would always appreciate it if you number one liked, number two commented, number three subscribed, and number four join us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. But yeah, this was definitely one heck of a great game. And, you know, Oxen Free 1 really set up the expectations for this, and Oxen Free 2 knocked the ball out of the park. Uh, this was, yeah, this was probably one of the up there with one of the best games I've played this year so far. So would highly recommend. So, you know, thank you very much for joining me on the journey. I hope you did find some sort of entertainment. I hope you took something away from this game. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.